Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Looks hello. Like house is starting to fill up already. That's awesome. Oh, we are so excited for tonight. Good morning, I'm, Glenn. I'm live. Good evening, yeah. Glenn. Oh, <laughs> good morning. Oh, it's been a long morning today. How do I get this back yeah. to regular screen? <laughs> you just scream, Margie. <laughs> the buttons are gone. Uh oh. A little bit. Uh oh. It's one of those silly settings on your own that, yeah. Hi, Bernice. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's, it's her settings and she knows that. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe kick yourself out again and see if you come back in. It's normal. Hey, Kendall. Good to see you. Well, I can watch it this way. I guess it was just shut off. Uh, that's weird. Margie, if you want, go out and come back in. Hey, Dara. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm in live chat and I'm not seeing them all. You're not? No, um, I'm in. I, I got to open up YouTube and we'll see how far behind. Um, make sure that your live word has the red dot beside it, not the white yeah. dot. Yeah, it okay. does. Yeah and check their settings i gotta get my good oh get there my we go up. dara and Bernice. where is Marty my Gliss, kendall yep kendall's there we go all right i how's everybody doing that. and volume is down perfect now let's get that plugged in so it won't die in an hour Whew. It has been quite a week around here for us. Me How's too. It been for you guys. Yes. <laughs> hey, Mar Maribel. Yes, a long day. And it's 2 p.m. Long week. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long week today. <laughs> it has been a long yeah. week today for us. Yeah, it has. But it's okay because we are so excited about it. All the planning we've been doing um, for tonight and for birthday month. And let me just make sure I've got all things around here that I want to have around. Oh, oh, no, one important thing I better go over here and get. I left it sitting across the room. Is it candy? Is it chocolate? No, I can do that too. <laughs> I did find one chocolate in the move that Doug had brought me in about a month ago when I was doing the light and um, I hadn't eaten it and it was still sitting there. So, so I have one piece How of chocolate. You? One piece How do you of not eat a chocolate? Well, he brought three and I ate two of them and there was one oh. sitting there and then it got buried on my desk and I forgot it. <laughs> so <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I'm going to just set this here for a minute just because, just because, just because they're pretty. Did you guys see what we're making tonight? We're going to make some swatch cards. Yes. It'll be so much fun. Swatch. And they, they're all going to be so different too. That's fun. Yeah. Everybody's will be different. All right. So I went out and thought, okay, I got time to get a quick bite to eat. I walked out to the kitchen and looked at the clock and it was two minutes too. <laughs> and I went, oh no. Um, so I, I grabbed I kept telling myself I was gonna sit down and put my feet up for a little while because oh. I've been really hurting myself yeah. uh with the the rearrange and the move uh -huh. with all the furniture I've put in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you. yeah. I just never I spin in circles and I'm like, oh, but I gotta grab that. Oh, but I gotta grab that, and then I never end up sitting down. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now you're sitting down, but you can't kick back and put your feet up. Bernice, how yeah, did you dye the feathers? Like that sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. Did you use a spray? Tell us how you did it. You have lots of feathers, don't you, Marianne? I do. You all I know do. Marianne's a chicken lady, right? <laughs> chicken lady. <laughs> <laughs> I need to grab... One more thing. I'll be right back. By the time I get back, Bernie should have had time to type in how she did it because I'm curious. Were they yeah, all me too. To start with or black or, you know. I wonder if they take coffee dye. Hmm. 
Oh, she used oxide and water. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but how? Did you paint it on? Did you run the feather through the stamp? Did you uh, uh, make a slurry? What did you do? I'm curious. I've seen people paint them. Oh, good. Okay. Kind of like when you dip a tag in your oxide. I'm, I'm curious to see how those look. I would love to see a photo. Um, you should post a picture in the group so we can all see. Were they white to begin with? Okay, I am back. So what Bernice tells about the feathers. She used oxide and water and she did them like uh, on her glass mat. She did, did the ink, sprayed it with water and then ran okay. the feather through. Oh, nice. Were yeah. it white or uh, solid colors of other colors? And Margie had to restart a computer. Oxide and water, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, but did okay, it go well, back to back. normal? I'm going to grab my fabric. Just as long as it went back to normal. Okay, I will do that right now. They were light brown. What? Put the whole, put oxide in my glass, sprayed water on it, and then put the feather in the mixture. Okay, so they were light brown, and you were changing them to different colors. Awesome. Hey, Patty. How are you? Hey. How are you, Patty? Oh, I've got to shoot a quick message to Candy. Is Candy here yet? You all got your bit buckets out? <clears throat> oh, I'm surrounded by bits of buckets. <laughs> <laughs> your room is a bit bucket. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, that's a good way to describe <laughs> it right now. Yeah, mine too. I mean, I'm a lot further along than I was the day before because I all day yesterday and then today I had to concentrate on the desk uh -huh. and the air around it so that I could do tonight, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I got chaos here thinking she's going to help me, you know? Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm looking through some. Uh, ooh, that one will work nice. I'm. Uh, I've got a project box here that I've been throwing fabric and stuff in anyway. Um, okay, I, I just there we go. to it. Yeah, yeah. Hanging in there, Patty. Patty, do you want me to? Do you want me to say anything or not? Um, you've been in my prayers, Patty. Patty lost. Well, a, I hope everything. Patty lost a fur baby yesterday. Oh, that's oh. There's just nothing like that. I, yeah. I, I'm I'm so sorry to hear that. Really devastating. Yeah, the only. Awesome part about it is that um, she was able to be there and um, he died in her arms. But it's still oh, that, everybody, that's here, somebody... <laughs> everybody here is um, animal lovers. So I know the part of the reason I want to say yeah. it is because everybody will keep you in their prayers and send you virtual yeah. hugs. It's okay, I'm going to move this. I don't see yeah. Candy in here yet. Have you seen Candy in here yet? She's got, um, so Candy's, no. Candy's son and daughter-in-law and two kids moved in with her last weekend. Yeah. Uh-huh. So their house has been a little chaos. Yeah. Hey, Kendall. Good to see you. Imagine. Yeah. So. Imagine. 
and uh, she's had, and she still managed to be with us at all our things and keep up with, you know, what yeah. she's been on with me and um, amazing, amazing. Okay, so to make uh, swatch cards, we got a lot going on tonight, guys. We I'm gonna, we're not gonna jump right into some of the big stuff because we want to make sure as many people as possible can can get here. Um, but we got announcements and big stuff happening. Um, but let's at least get started on the swatch cards because we can be doing swatch cards, you know, while we yes. get into stuff. So yes. the swatch cards, you can use anything as the card. Um, I was going to use up some of the substrate that I had cut into uh, tags, but I have buried it in the move. So Candy's here. <laughs> Yay, Candy. <laughs> that, that's, okay. Yeah, that's okay. We were just talking about the chaos that is your house now, <laughs> not just ours. Um, so I buried them. So I grabbed some manila folders. I'm going to use some manila folders. But then also sitting on my desk was this pack of four by six cards, and those would work as well. So I might do some on one of these, um, some on the manila folders. I mean, I'm just going to cut up the manila folders into the tag sizes that I want and then grunge them up, you know, and use that. And so you can really use anything you want. Cardstock, I would say something fairly firm like cardstock. So it's very supportive. Um, candy, like be sure to yeah. candy, be sure to check your messages. I just sent you another one seconds ago. Um, yeah, just something that'll be supportive if you pile the other side full of of substrate, um, um, chipboard, like cereal box with uh, a collage or book page or music paper on it. Um, I always have those made up. We, I know we've talked about them before, but for new people, maybe take, yeah, take the cereal box and just with your finger run a little gesso over the side that's that's shiny and yes. smooth, and that's fine. And you, especially that, covering yeah. up with stuff. And I keep a box on my desk where I've been making things like this and I might collage with scraps or uh, whatever. We did that a couple of weeks ago um, too, but I, I have these all sitting in a box on my desk. So I grab these instead of grabbing out a new piece of, of something, you know, and they're ready to go. Yeah, mine were, they are ready to go. I just don't know where they are ready to go. <laughs> uh, Margaret cutting out tags from her Minte tag book. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I have these ones too. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. You could use well, some playing cards or note cards as well. I'm gonna, you could. Uh, those, would be, um, those would be good. For me, I feel like they'd be a little small based on what I know I want to put on them. But yeah, you can and have they can be one size. Watch card of the same of the same thing. So some of you may be wondering, what is a swatch card and what are we doing? What does that mean? Um, hey, Judy, good to see you. I made a few last week when uh, I got done putting together my signatures. Oh, so these are some examples. Yeah. And I did post pictures in the group, but they have a swatch of the different well, elements on the dress. That yeah. one, okay. um, that one she's holding this right now, the lady with the green. I love that one. Can you hold the green one up closer to the camera? Yes. Yes, I can. And then, so she put a picture of the lady in the green dress. And then the swatch, um, the swatch is basically all the elements that are used on that dress. The fabric, the buttons, the lace, you know, the ribbon, all the things. Yeah. And I even made it Approved. But there's different kinds of swatch cards you could make, and we're, we're, we're going to share that tonight. Um, and then this one, I made like a tuck, or it could have been a bookmark, or, um, and I'm going to use the little ones tonight, I think, um, on my swatch cards. Um, you could also use these little tags to do it, too, and figure out a different way to, you know, put that on a, on a card, say, and put your elements, or you could even tuck them behind. Just, um, it's a way to showcase the kind of fabrics that your this dressmaker might have in her shop. Fabrics, uh, Candy, lace, but they didn't come through. I'm sorry, Candy. I don't know why they didn't come through, but I just switched networks. Um, hoping that they will. Now I'll see if I can resend. I don't know. I can't. Thank you, Judy. 
Um, hey. Judy. Uh, thank you. Project Life Cards are great for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Too. Project Life Cards would be good, good for this. this. Um, can really we talk about all about this so I can move my tray? Are you ready to talk about the all about? Yeah, go ahead. Let's start the all about because it is the beginning of all April. Right. And we usually, <laughs> That's them, right. we usually give it to them before or at April 1st, you know, the first of the month. And we didn't, but um, yeah, it's only April 3rd. I want to put more emphasis on it this month. Um, we've, we've all been busy and had a lot going on and I had to, I had to quit for a minute um and deal with some family stuff you know uh so the focus we used to focus harder on the all about but this month we would like to focus on a couple things here um because it's our anniversary month and we're celebrating our all about this month is celebration and inspiration and inspiration would be um uh trying to get you active on the page and show us what inspires you so if it's something you made or say it's a painting that makes you want to get your paints out or uh something that somebody else made or a picasso or it doesn't matter whatever inspires you we want to see it we and we want you to share with the group so that you can inspire other people with those things as well and then do you want to tell them the other part of that, Marianne? Or are we going to wait? Um, yes, I will. I would love to. Okay. Um, so we are going to invite you to post one picture or one post every day in the month of April. Um, showing something you've made that is, you know, sometimes there's things you made and it's like, they're okay. And then there's other things you make and you're every time you look at it, you're like, oh, I just want to go get the inks out again. Or I just want to go get the stamp set out again. Or I just want to get out whatever again. You know, um, it just inspires you to want to do something. Um, so something you've made that inspires you or that you just love the colors or you love the whatever it is. Hey, Tammy. Good to see you. Hi, Christy. Didn't see you come in. Um, and then sometimes there's things that I see that somebody else made. And it just really inspires me. I love the style. I love the colors. I love, you know, whatever it is. Sometimes you don't even, you can't even put your finger on what it is. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Breathe, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> um, but maybe, maybe you want to share something that really inspires you that somebody else, you know, just a picture you saw on the internet somewhere. Um, the goal is not to be dragging in pictures that everybody else made and recognizing all the other artists in the world. The goal is to see the things that all the happy paper people are making because I have, I've seen, you've all seen somebody put something up because we made it Saturday and everybody posts their picture and they're like, yeah, but it's not that great. I don't really like it. And then somebody else says, I love that. I love the color combination or I love the way you did this or I love the way you did that. And you're like, wow, oh, okay, it was really inspiring to that person, but I didn't think it was all that great. So the idea is to post things that you've made, and they don't have to be right now. Maybe you made something five years ago that when you look at it, it still inspires you. Maybe it's hanging on your wall. Maybe it's a card you gave to your mom and you can steal it back to take a picture of the card. You know, whatever <laughs> it is. Um, Sounds like you have big so, plans there. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to invite you to post every single day in April, if you'd like. Um, and, oh, 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 um, uh, shoot, sidebar, I didn't check on um, the admin that, no, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Glennis, <laughs> you, you're going to be the admin that's that's um, helping with this project. <laughs> and I didn't have a chance to call you before. <laughs> ah! So we're going to ask you to or invite you to post every day if you want um, a picture, something that inspires you tremendously. I have a couple pictures of the outdoors that really inspire me. And if I post them, you'll see why. Um, and here's the key in that post. You need to tag Glennis. 
You need to tag Glennis McCartney on Facebook. I think she's Glennis McSee, but you know, she's in happy paper people. You see her all over. She posts all the time and she'll be posting every day, but you have to tag Glennis in that post because then Glennis can make a list every day of every person who has posted that day. And at the end of the week, every week, we're going to <laughs> so post for tomorrow. <laughs> um, um, it's going to be not by from the first to the seventh, but like from Sunday to Saturday. Okay, so tomorrow starts a week. So Sunday to and you're Saturday. only allowed one entry a day. I mean, you, you can post keep, as many as you want, you, but you yeah. have to keep track of that. Just just post every day because every one that you post is going to get you an entry in a drawing at the end of that week for a birthday prize, a celebration, part of the celebration and inspiration. You post the inspiration, we're going to provide the celebration. And so every week we're going to draw from the inspirations and give a, a gift, a prize to somebody. But then all of those entries are going to stay in the drawing for the end of the month for the grand prize drawing. So there'll be a prize every week and then there will be a grand prize at the end of the month. Make sense? And we're pretty good at prizes. So that not, should be fun. <laughs> it's not the only way to win prizes this month. There's going to be a lot going on. All I can say is try to be at everything you can be at and Try to pay attention to what's going on. Make notes if you need to. Um, but yeah, so we'll put a post in the group that will go up tomorrow. Um, or maybe it'll go up late tonight. Well, probably not tonight. We'll all be dead and we need to make sure it reads clearly. It'll go up tomorrow, um, explaining it, outlining it. And we'll tag Glennis in that post so that you can see her name. Make sure you tag Glennis in every inspiration post you put up. And so she can keep the list for each day for the prize drawing at the end of the week and at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. I yeah. love the pictures the because they are very inspiring to me. Ah! <laughs> and what what I find um what I find interesting and this is part of what we really want to get everybody to Sorry. see in this group if you're not already, you know, of that mindset is that if you're a card maker, it's not just other cards that inspire you. If you're a journal maker, it's not just other journals that inspire you. You know, if you're a painter or mixed media, it's not just other things of that medium that inspire you. I could look at the beautiful cards that some of you make and I get an idea for a journal um, page or a tuck spot or a, a, a pocket or something. I've looked at quilts that some of you had posted and looked at the pattern in the quilt and been inspired to create something for a journal or a card. Um, you can you can get inspiration from everything, everywhere. It doesn't yes. have to be in your lane. And the more you let your brain go outside your lane to look for inspiration in all these other things, the more fun it becomes and the more open you are to inspiration, the more you're inspired. I can look at moss on a tree. Mm -hmm. and uh, with a snarly branch and feel inspired and want to go home and paint. One of or, my favorite things yeah. all the time is gnarly roots and branches on a tree. Me too. Yes. That inspires me. Oh, so good. So, so good. Um, Glennis, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but can I ask you publicly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Patty, we'll be here. It can be anything that inspires you. Does not have yes. to be paper related. I'll, I'll tell you, I will post a picture of, I hope I've still got the picture because I lost that computer. I mean, it crashed, but a picture of um, a gnarly rooted and um, branched tree that I absolutely love that just inspires me every time I see it. And yeah, it's a tree, but you could take that and you could create a whole quilt pattern out of it. You could create a journal page or um, a card. Yes, Judy. Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. Most of us, most artists are not one lane artists. Most artists, most creatives, most makers 
do more than one thing. We may spend a lot of time talking about journals and lookbooks and tags and pockets and all those things, but um, that's probably because the majority of the people that you know we end up talking to are maybe in that lane. But I sew, uh, Sharon sews. Um, we all do. You know, we love I mixed media. media. We love yeah, I paint. I, yeah. We love. I love quilting. We crochet. All, all the things. Just all the things. Oh yes, I, I like everything. I love yard nooks. I love yard nooks. In, nature is so inspiring, and when you can merge your art with nature, that to me is the very best. I don't know down. if you guys know this, but I've always done photography and we do, mm -hmm. Bill and I, when, uh, when we first met, we were out hiking every week and it was so I could take pictures because I really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I, and but went and an expensive camera for yeah. the same purpose. I love photography. Right. Photography is inspiring. I love nature and, you know, people and all, all the things. So yeah, everything that inspires you for sure. So I'm making uh, deci hard decisions here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here watching your comments and talking and not even doing anything. <laughs> uh, well, I feel like I'm not doing anything because I keep changing my mind, but <laughs> yeah, okay. You are doing something, then you're in the process. Right. So I keep things like this around, like when I got new ink and I wanted to try it out. So I always have a stack of things like this sitting around. Yeah. I actually just found that and I'm going to do my very first um, okay. swatch card on one of these. Cool. Um, yeah. Yes, Margie, we are all so-and-sos. <laughs> yeah. Your front porch decorations would be awesome. Usually yeah. those are things that you've, you've, put something together you might have sewn you might have done three or four different things to put it together um no patty you don't have to put a title on it but you can say whatever you want about it just somewhere in that yeah. post in what you write you have to tag glennis because that's the only way that we can be sure she gets you on the list for the drawing because if we you know when we start putting a whole bunch of posts in there if they're kind of sort of the same time it might be really easy for her to miss a post. So we're not gonna, you know, give the chance to blame her for not getting somebody's somebody into the drawing. And so it'll be each of our responsibility to tag Glennis in the post. Thank you, Candy. Okay, so, um, oh, there is so much tonight. I'm just so excited. I can't hardly contain myself. So, <laughs> well, I, I can't, I'm not gonna contain myself. We got to, um, we got to, we got to, uh, uh, I got, I just got to do it, Sharon. I just got to do well, it. So okay, go ahead. we are doing an unveiling, a revealing tonight. And um, I want to do it before oh, Candy leaves because <laughs> this was a big collaboration. This was a big, big collaboration um, with Candy. I just don't even have time to stop and do it. And I appreciate Candy so much. I feel like I just cloned myself this week. It's been amazing. So while I'm working 100 miles an hour and she and I are talking constantly, she's on the other side working 100 miles an hour what, what I don't have time to. So this has been a huge collaboration. And Candy, I just want you to know how much I do appreciate you and your talents. So Candy, we are unveiling um, a new... Well, it's it's new, but it's the first, um, probably the only, Happy Paper People logo. We have, we officially have now a Happy Paper People logo. And we have a new um, Facebook group header. Now, don't leave to go look at it or you're going to miss something right here. I will give you a chance to, I promise. <laughs> Just don't do it right now. <laughs> The next time you go to Facebook, don't do it right now this second. Just hang on a second. The next time you go to Facebook, you will see the new group header and the new Happy Paper People logo. And, oh, hang on just a second. It was already, okay. Um, and so what we're going to do right now is give you a minute to run to the Facebook group Realize some of you may need to log out of um, 
or exit YouTube, and that's okay. It'll just be like refreshing YouTube. Run to the Facebook group, take a look at it, and then come back into YouTube, and we'll give you a minute to do that. When you come back, hopefully nobody's left yet or they won't hear this. When, when you come back, um, comment in here in chat on uh, YouTube. We want to hear what you think about the logo, what you think about the new uh, group header. I uh, want to hear your comments about it. Everybody, who comments, <laughs> yeah, everybody who comments on it tonight and participates in the conversation about it um, gives an opinion, a, a comment, something that you like or don't like or noticed or whatever is going to go in tonight's drawing for a gift tonight. So go ahead. Yes. Go ahead now. Everybody exits at the same time. Sharon, Everybody go. Over here Because they're all gone. So run to Facebook, take a quick look at it, come back and, and uh, tell, give us your comments. Sharon, and you can do I, that. You can do that. You can do that on your computer and then just go back into YouTube. Oh yeah. I gotta take that. Yeah, didn't even think about that, but yeah, you could do that. Let's see. I think trying to decide what size I want. Oh no, I can't do it. You can't? Um you can just go completely no. out of YouTube on your computer. You know why I can't? Why? My other Facebook page is on here and I don't have my uh, information. Um, oh. I don't remember. I changed my password and I can't remember oh. what it is. So oh. um, I'll have to get it afterwards. Have, well, I can, I can hold it up to the, I could hold it up to the screen for you. <laughs> okay, wait, that'd be great. Wait, wait, let you be surprised. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ridiculous. But yeah because i only what? use this top for youtube yeah yeah big <laughs> yeah. shout out to candy she's been awesome uh glennis candy, you're amazing. thank you so glad you love it glennis isn't it amazing i um, yeah i'm excited yeah. to see it we did a, a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth honey <laughs> I mean, I don't, candy, candy, this is kind of what I want. And Candy went out and said, okay, uh, how, how's this? And we just started with, you know, something and it said, let's tweak this. Did that. Let's tweak that. Did that. And we just kept tweaking until we had it exactly, exactly how we want. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I noticed that too, Candy, but that's okay. Uh, it, that's not a big deal. It's not um, huge. Uh, Facebook did the wrong um uh, the wrong uh, size to make the, the picture to put it up there and have it exactly centered. But that's hi, Cheryl. Glad to see you here. Okay, so hang Hello. on a second. I'm going to see um, Cheryl commented on it. I got to write all these down. You got to help me watch. Glennis commented. <clears throat> yeah, no worries, Candy. Um, let's see when people comment, then we'll know that they're back here. Cause I don't want to say a lot of things before people get back. Um, you let's see. Did you get like a lot better, more vintage, not too bright, very tasteful. And you like this, so you like the logo right in the middle. D can you read the top, the top of the logo? It, well, it says happy paper people real big. And right below it, it says makers. And then it's established 2020, but across the top, it says creators of all things art. And that's oh, to remind everyone in the group that every kind of art is what we do. Every kind of art is welcome here. We, every kind of art inspires makers and we want to see it all here. Glad you like it, Kendall. Uh, Margie, Margie likes it. Yay. Yay. Let's see. Tammy, gorgeous. Lots of inspiring. Okay. So, well, let me wait. Um, make sure everybody's back here. I should have looked at how many people we had before so I could see how many came back. Um, we're when we're all back here. <laughs> Patty, love it all. Want to know how to make that little corset? We've got several little corsets we could make, Patty. Yeah, we do. I actually have something planned for. Hi, let Penny. Me, let me just, now, ladies, I have something planned for this corset. Um, so 
if you've printed it, cut it out and put it aside because I have something really fun planned for this one. Cool. Um, and maybe we should do that this, maybe next weekend. Maybe we should do corsets news. next weekend. We're going to talk about <laughs> that. Yeah, because... Um, yeah. Yeah, because I have another idea is going to run by you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> good to see you, Penny. Glad you like it. Uh, Bernice likes it and loves the words and the colors are perfect. Good. Glad covers all sorts that's of projects. Cool. Not just journal. That's exactly it, Glennis. That's exactly it. So yeah, yes. Candy, that's what I was waiting for everybody to come back for. Um, yeah, I think pretty much everybody that was here is, is back. So a lot of you commented on the inspiring artwork that's around the logo. Did you recognize any of it? Those are all taken from pictures that you all happy paper people posted in the group hi lucy posted in the group um during the previous month so those are things that you and us and your peers our peers made so what we're going to do is Great take fun. take photos of the things that are posted in the group throughout the month and use them to create the collage for next month the logo will stay the same in the center but the collage behind it will change every month and we'll use um, the things that you put up. Let's see. I got to get Lucy That's down there. So Are you seeing comments? Better to tweak than twerk. I agree, Margie. Um, Do not want to see me twerking. <laughs> Judy. Yes, Bernie. That's in the kit. I think Thank my you, thing is glad you love so it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Did I get Tammy? I did get Tammy. We did have fun putting this together for you guys. And we were thinking about it the whole time. And um, yeah. <clears throat> and I love um, using your artwork um, throughout the next month. Sharon, do you, can you see your name on the screen? Um, yes, I can. Did Kitty run Why? across your screen? Did Kitty run across your keyboard while you were typing it in? <laughs> no, she hasn't been down at all. Oh. Why? <laughs> Sharon and you? Oh, yeah. That could have been just my fingers dragging. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll be that person tonight. That's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's clean. Okay. You, guys, you guys see what I'm doing here? I've, I'm using a hat, uh, the hat card, or, or one of the turban cards. And showing all the different fabrics that can be made into those turbans. Okay. I just have to figure out how I want to stack them up. So Candy's got a family thing tonight. Um, we appreciate her even stopping in for the first hour, you, um, you know, to make that change for us while, so we could give you the surprise. So thanks, Candy. Really appreciate it. Now go have some fun with your family. It's a perfect night for that. Yes. And we'll see you soon. Hey, Sharon, did you notice the different color around your name tonight? Uh, the pink. It's the same color as the flowers used to be on Happy Paper People. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was a request of mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> to use those colors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's and wonderful. You will, you will notice when you go look at the banner that immediately behind the logo is those flowers. So they're very faint oh, and like antiqued. So you kind of have to know they're there to look for them, but you'll see that color right behind the logo and then everybody else's stuff. Just thought it was um, much more important and it looked better to me to have all the creations there rather um, than yeah. just the flowers. Yes, yeah. happy Easter candy. Tell your whole family happy yeah. Easter. I didn't hey, even realize what? it was really almost sure Easter. <laughs> crazy. I know I didn't either until a couple of days ago. I thought it was like a couple of weeks yeah. away. Yeah. Good to see you, Laura. Hey, Laura, we crazy. just released and unveiled the brand new Happy Paper People logo and Facebook header. If you want to run over to Facebook and take a quick look at it, when you come back, if you comment about it, you're going to get in the drawing for tonight's prize because we have, it's birthday month. And there's going to be prizes all over the place, everywhere. So do that. And um, okay, I need to get a, I need to get a couple things cut here so that I can start making okay. some swatch cards. So I'm 
actually doing my first one like a waterfall. So I took mm. fabrics that I thought might be Georgian or Victorian and these from the turbans here. And I've kind of chosen some of the colors that are in there, but I also want to match this card. I mean, I could do it anyway, but I'm just using like a waterfall style here and um, figuring out how I want to lay it all on there. And then I'll have the card with it. Kind of like you'd go in and you'd see all the different, you know, all the different uh -huh. fabric swatches when you get, it's, it's when you order work. a sofa. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So what's funny, Candy, is you brought out that little um, card, like divider card, like Rolodex type card or recipe card or whatever, said you were going to use that. Because I grabbed these manila folders, that's exactly what I was going to do, is just cut the manila folder off with that. <laughs> it's, again, thinking the same thing. All right, so what I'm going to do here, and I think, I think I'm going to use a couple of these cards too. This, these are just four by six. Whoops, hang on a second here. I've blocked myself from view. There we go. These are just four by six journaling note cards. Um, I think it's a Prima, yeah, a Prima pack. Um, yeah. But I don't want one that has a whole lot of stuff on it, but it's like one that has these just flowers in the background would work nicely. Um, oh, this one would work nicely. It's just nicely grunged and it has a seam, but it's so faint that it won't look like a scene is covered up. Yeah, I don't want to cover anything with a nice picture because that can be used otherwise quite well. Here's a good one. It's just a good background. What? Kendall stick, stuck herself with a pin, it looks like. Oh, ouch. Yeah, she uh, pinned a rusty peacock. I'm really enjoying this kit. Awesome. Glad to hear that, Rosemary. Really glad to hear that. This is an amazing kit. I don't, Cheryl, are you still here? I don't know if it's it's like midnight in the UK um, for Cheryl. So if she's even here for a few minutes, that's amazing. But Cheryl Lawless, who owns the Torn page on Etsy, um, collaborated with us. And um, it took a while. We didn't tell anybody we were doing it. We were just working on it behind the scenes. And... Um, uh, a collaboration to create this kit because we wanted a special kit to make the dressmakers lookbook. And um, we debuted it um, here on our Saturday night live. We launched it. And then the next day, Cheryl put it in her shop. So anybody else could buy it as well. So boy, I guess they did it at it. the deep, deep discount. We did. Oh, I guess right, I'm, ladies? yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> so here's, hi, LaToya, um, Hello. Uh, LaToya, private message Sharon about that, and Sharon, we can talk about that later, it's, no, LaToya, it's not, it's not too late to sign up for that, just private message Sharon, and then Sharon, don't forget to talk to me about it, um, okay, Anyway, so this kit that Cheryl worked long and hard on creating, um, she actually provided it free to all happy paper people to use it that the first night that we launched it, which was amazing. And then she gave y'all a discount code for one week. You could go to her shop and buy anything you want for 50% off. So that was this past week. If y'all remember, has anybody had a chance to go in there and go shopping? I know Candy did and she's not here. Hi, Julie. Hi, hey, Julie. Julie. Um, so, hey, Johnny. Good to see you. Junk Journal Shop is Johnny. So Hello. She provided, she provided the code for happy paper people to go in and shop for the week at 50% off. Now, obviously, we can't prevent or she can't prevent anybody from giving that code to somebody else. But that code was um, intended for Happy Paper People and or anybody that you wanted to invite to join Happy Paper People uh, because she created that kit in collaboration with Happy Paper People. So today is Sorry, the one mark on that. Yeah. 
Um, you will get, if you haven't had a chance to go in or if you forgot to go in and shop at 50% off, you have until tomorrow. Tomorrow, that 50% off will no longer be effective. Okay? Because that was a one-week offer only. However, Cheryl is an amazing lady. And, and this, is what amazing. We didn't tell, this is what we didn't tell you last week. We had to save something for this week for her. Um, on an ongoing basis, Cheryl is going to provide a discount to happy paper people. Now, we will, uh, we've talked with Cheryl about this, and she said this discount is for happy paper people and anybody who's in the group or joins the group. So we will ask that if you want to share it with friends, that you invite them to join Happy Paper People. Tell them that it, I mean, it's just on the honor system, obviously, but um, the code was uh, created specifically for this group. Um, and that will be 30% off ongoing. Isn't Cheryl amazing? That is just beyond amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just so if you love this kit, if you love this kit, you'll love the rest of the things Cheryl has. She's she makes tremendous kits. She's got a great eye. She's got lots of um, ephemera and lots of tags and not not tags. What am I trying to say? Labels. If you like the old botanical things and the field labels and oh, I can't even. So many good things. Like she think just has kits of all all kinds of um, themes. So go in there, take a look. It's amazing. So even if you can't do it by tomorrow at 50% off, she is providing 30% off on an ongoing basis. So here's the deal. Um, after tomorrow, the 30% off code will be in Happy Paper People. We're not going to say it tonight here because then anybody for evermore will be able to get that code. And Cheryl is gracious enough to, to provide this for happy paper people. So we are going to respect the fact that everybody in the world, you know, shouldn't get a 30% discount or, you know, Cheryl's time is not being paid for. And so when you go into happy paper people and you go into the files and there's a list of everybody's Etsy shop, um, the code will be by Cheryl's Etsy shop by the link. So you can just click on the link, go straight into any of our Etsy shops and Cheryl's is there as well. But next to it is the code. It will be there um, so that you have the code as you go in every time. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. I know so came in and I didn't get a chance to say hi. So let me scroll back here a quick second. I saw Johnny. Hi, Jean. Um, oh, Jean. It you is know, my, my chat is <laughs> Elaine. Wow. Oh, Lucy, yeah. you already got some. Yeah, at the 50% off, and now it's 30% it's on going. Yeah. yeah. That's it's very generous. Uh, of course, see. it's Rosemary always been 30, 30, but 30 is still amazing. So. 30? Is, are you kidding? Yeah. 30 yeah. is a huge discount when she only charges a couple dollars for her kits. You guys, 30% right. is They're a lot. It's so affordable. Yeah. Rosemary has a lot. I know I have a whole bunch of her kits. They're they're all amazing. There's not a single one that I don't like. So I have I um, think I have a good portion of them because I've been shopping mm -hmm. with her for a while and mm -hmm. I just I love her eye. She just has the best mm -hmm. eye for a femme. Send a copy of the Edwardian lady to donate in celebration of your first Oh! Oh, Cheryl. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we'll talk afterwards about how how we'll use that um, for our birthday celebration. Okay. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, Glennis had bought from her before. Candy had bought from her before. You know, um, a lot of happy paper people had already gone into the torn page because as soon as uh, Sharon was the first one to find her, and then she told me about her, and I went in and bought a bunch of stuff, and then we start telling everybody about her because it's, it's just amazing. She's a great artist, and uh, her prices are, are very reasonable. So, yeah, so a lot of happy paper people had. All right, hold on just a second. We got to back the truck up. Who's bringing cheesecake? <laughs> where's my cheesecake? Who's bringing cheesecake? And where's my piece? Oh my God! Are goodness. you? Oh. 
<laughs> I don't know if somebody's discussing that. They're discussing cheesecake and they don't know they that are. we love cheesecake. A little bit of strawberry or raspberry would be amazing, but you know. So there's a bunch of you that just came in um, right after Julie and we unveiled and revealed just before you came in the new Happy Paper People logo. If you want to pop over to Facebook, um, well, hang on, don't go yet. But if you want to pop over to Facebook, take a quick look at the logo and the new uh, group header um, and then come back and tell us what you think about it. Comment on it in chat. Then you will go into the drawing for a gift at the end of the night tonight. Margie, can you have a present to win? By the she way, she might have not. Yeah, you have. Uh, you do have to come back and comment on that, so we get some thoughts and comments on the new logo and the new banner, and um, and when you guys do that and then come back, we'll tell you the rest about that banner. Um, Margie has cheesecake. I knew Margie had cheesecake. I knew she did. <laughs> Where's <sighs> my cheesecake? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna quit talking and get making here. So I'm yeah. going to a button swatch card i'm going to make a lace swatch card i'm going to make um a what do you call it like um trim or um, trim i'm kind of doing a waterfall thing myself right now yeah, yeah like a trim that's kind of cool. yeah. I'll do another one differently. It's just I want to. Yeah. I thought I would try it this way first, and then yeah. I'll do different style each time. Each time. I pulled. I pulled some things that they might use to embellish the dress, and so I want to do a swatch card with those, like these. Um, where's the other one? I know I had a third one. Uh, cameos, like cameos, would have been something they could choose, or something with pearls dangling. Oh, I know there's a third cameo or a second cameo over here somewhere. I just buried it with all my lace and stuff. So um, lace and trim and all those kinds of things. Yeah. So, let's see. I'm putting a variety on this one. And then I think I might make up just a button card next with just buttons. Mm -hmm. I thought that yeah, would. I'm going to do a button swatch. Card yeah. In fact, I think I'm going to do two button swatch cards and I'll show you why. I'm doing a specific color here um, because I locked myself in because I'm yeah. using this card that I made. So I went with the pinks and the purples. Mm -hmm. So you um, can do, yeah, you can do a swatch card based on color or you can do a swatch card based on um, uh, style or on theme, like all buttons of all colors or, you know, trim of all colors, or maybe you want one that's just white or just cream or just whatever. That's, that's totally up to you, how you want to swatch. And Sharon's swatching right now by theme. Yep, I sure am. I'm doing, this is turbans, so. <laughs> turbans? It's the turban card, where all the ladies oh. are wearing turbans. Oh, yeah. So this I forgot to that they do those. Fabrics available for turban. I forgot yeah. that they do those. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna and go I've back got my comments. You want to hear something funny? I've got yeah. this box and canasta cards came in and it was it's really oh, old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And every time I open it, I smell an old lady. <laughs> it smells like grandma's house every time I open it. <laughs> Johnny put her knee in the salted caramel cheesecake on the way home from dinner last night. Uh, <laughs> She's just saying that I so we won't want to share it with her. <laughs> Oh, oh, caramel cream in coffee right now. Say that again. I have salted caramel creamer in my coffee right now. Oh, that was a nice. lot of seed. That was a tongue twist, tongue tie twister. Hey, Cheryl, thing. Tell, tell Cheryl good night. Thanks for being here. Go get a good night hey, sleep. Cheryl, really appreciate you. you. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Uh, when you're done, run over to that page and check it out if you haven't yet, because it's amazing. Isn't that shoe, the shoe in <laughs> Cheryl's kit is really amazing. I love the shoe. Yeah. Lucy's, yeah. Done with one. Lucy's already done a whole journal out of this, so she's not doing anything else for this journal, but she'll make she's making for the next one. 
Good night, Cheryl. Julie, you like the group page? Yeah. Looks awesome. All right, I need to add. Need to Julie commented. Need to add Look. for the giveaway. Margie, are you saying that um, you're only going to have clean thoughts tonight? Is that what you're saying? I'm I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> she said she took a shower today. <laughs> uh, well, Kilt Man just went to bed, Margie. So sorry. <laughs> hey, Lori. There you go. There you go. Good to see you, Lori. Uh, I want another piece of lace. Uh, right let's here. see. Yeah, anybody who's just coming in now, you might want to watch the first hour. There's a lot. There was a lot released in the first hour. <laughs> Going to get a snack. Don't say anything really important for a few minutes. Okay, just turn it up loud when you go, Bernice. Okay. <laughs> I always try to um, call Amy on Saturdays, but I was just so busy today. I didn't get a chance. Oh, yeah. And I don't think we're here tonight. I don't either. Thank you, Laura. Glad yeah. you like the new logo. The new logo, it was a collaboration. Um, oh, Candy, had old <laughs> Candy had to leave already. So um, she was here at the beginning and Candy and I collaborated and put that logo together. She did a lot uh, Hi, to Tina. help me this week because we've had so much going on. Hi, <laughs> Tina. Oh, so good to see you. So good to see you. Tina, if you just came in, run over to Facebook, check out the new Happy Paper People logo and the new yeah. group header. Come back and comment what you think about it and you go in the drawing for um, tonight's giveaway. Because this start is... Listening. This is um, Happy Paper People's birthday month. And um, there's going to be prizes and giveaways and stuff happening everywhere you turn all month long. So we did talk about a couple of other things at the beginning. So in the first hour, so a bunch of you, you know, just came in on the last 15 minutes. You might want to go back and listen to that later. Um, but uh, yeah, if you run over there and take a look at it, come back and make a comment on it so we know what your opinions are, good or bad. We like input. Um, then you go in a drawing for tonight's. <laughs> are you asking for bad comments? <laughs> no, no. I just no, sounded I'm funny. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'll delete them. No. <laughs> not, not, good or, not bad comments, but opinions. If somebody has a suggestion... Yeah. They should be able to tastefully <laughs> share their opinion and will, you know, yeah. take that up in consideration. Um, yeah, Jean, I'm just giving you a hard time. time. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Glad you do. <laughs> so those of you who have already looked at it, all the things in the collage behind the logo are things that Happy Paper People have made and posted throughout the past month. So all the things that you make and post throughout the month of April will be um, pulled from to create the collage for May. And that collage will change every month and it will be um, based on the things that you make and post in the previous month. Thanks, Laura. Have any more copy? I'm not organized. I'm uh, Julie, you could just grab a piece of, um, you could grab a piece of manila folder or a piece of cardstock. I've got both of those right here. And then you could just grab some lace or grab a, grab your button jar. Grab your button jar. Uh, button card. card. Yeah, I'll do, if you want, I'll do the button card first. You grab your button jar. We could do it together. <laughs> yep, your shoe journal is up on the header. Johnny, lots of stuff is there. So yeah, take a look around and see, um, see what's up there that you might recognize. So, okay, let's see what else. Boy, we've got so much going on tonight. So many announcements and reveals. And, um, let's see. Do you want to just do a quick um, reminder of, of the swap for everybody who is participating? Yes. Um, yes. Um, when and how? Uh, yes. Um, so if you haven't uh, received your partner yet or messaged your partner yet, uh, it's announced um, on the should be on the top ish of the page because it's pinned as an announcement. So um, just click on announcements so, right there. Yeah. Privately message your partner. Um, that way, you know, we're not sharing a whole lot of information 
publicly um and it's your she's like a pen pal it's not uh, a typical swap it's you swap with each other back and forth um so you're gonna be what that is a typical swap you um, assign oh don't, don't they assign someone usually and then they give to somebody else and then they give to well, somebody else not, not usually but it depends on the type of the swap but usually you're assigned a partner and you swap with each other Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So you're going to be making a scrap stack, which we did in one of our lives. And that's a collection of scrap papers that you think that she might enjoy um, out of just out of your scrap bin. Uh, you're going to be sending something that you've made. Uh, so it's like a gift for your sister. And then you're also going to be sending something that you haven't finished yet. That's already in that pile of stuff that you need to finish. Um, that, so you can share a project. What's you that? Like, you mean like a tag or a pocket or something like right. that? Right, right. And then that's something you yeah. have is like a tag or a pocket or something that well, it's under your inches. maybe you, you just didn't finish and then she's going to finish it. So it's a collaboration yeah. item. Yeah, it should be and really the fun. Thing, the big thing is it all has to fit in a six by nine five envelope. by seven. Yeah, or a six yeah, by six nine, by nine, which is half of a standard, you know, eight and a half by 11. When you cut that in half, it has to fit in a six by yeah. nine um, envelope. So everybody's receiving the envelope of the same size. Right. Uh, the, the whole point is to not really, to already have these things around, probably. I mean, I wasn't intending for anybody to have to go out and make a bunch of stuff. More... Right stuff that you already have so right. stuff that we've made in a live or mm -hmm. you know don't, does everyone have that basket of stuff to finish because they had to walk away and then this mood didn't strike them or they <laughs> didn't um they couldn't finish it because it, they just couldn't figure out what it needed or you know so those are uh, seeing it with fresh eyes if your sister sees it with fresh eyes she'll probably know just what to do with it Latoya, a direct message is the same as a private message. So when you and I chat on Messenger and we send each other messages back and forth on Messenger, that's all she's talking about is a private message, direct message. Let's see here. All right, I guess I'm going to start gluing. I usually just make some decisions and glue some stuff down first, but I decided to lay it all out first <laughs> this time <laughs> i decided that i was going to do two button cards and one button card is going to be all wooden buttons i've got wooden i'm holding it over here and forgot that we're split screen so it's not even showing i've got wooden buttons of um all shapes and and things like i've got butterflies and hearts and they actually say uh french words on them and um and round ones that have French scenes and these little fans, they might've carried a fan with their dress. I'll, it'll show better when I take it out of that cellophane bag. Give me just a second, whoops, don't be throwing them around. So I decided that I'm gonna do one button card that is all wooden buttons. And don't then take I'm gonna nickels, do- Don't take Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna do another button card that is um, other buttons. These are really pretty. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So they could choose a wooden button that, you know, maybe back in the day, it's like this is a wood button, wooden button that was cut out by somebody and hand painted by somebody. And then um, I like these little ones too that are like miniature clocks. I got a bunch of others, but this is what I had right close handy to grab. So that one. And that's the only other one I'm going to grab of that. Get and if you guys didn't that. tell, mine's just stenciled. I was just playing with some new ink that I got. Oh, I love it's that. just a stencil on a on a manila folder. That's a great idea. That's a great idea for my manila folders. Instead of yeah, just running them up, I could just stencil the background. 
I do. I that. do that a lot when I have yeah. Yeah. when I don't know what to do, or um, I just I like to make my own papers, you know. So I I if I get a new ink, or something, whatever that's what I do. or whatever color you want. Yeah, you know, gives you that creative control. And I like um, creative freedom. <laughs> I started collecting stencils basically um, mm -hmm. when I started doing this a year ago. And uh, I have quite the collection now. And I just, um, uh, you know, I always get them affordably too. They're not like Tim Holt stencils or uh, does he make stencils? I'm oh, assuming yeah. he does. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, not yeah, a one, stencils. But, I mean, but I have a lot of them, a lot of no, mm -hmm. non uh, name brand affordable stencils. Thank you, Elaine. Elaine likes the header and the Yay! logo. I assume that means you like the logo too. <laughs> you didn't miss anything important, Bernice. We were just going no, over the parameters of the swap again. That's it. Waiting for you to come back. Just hanging out, you know, just hanging Thanks, out. Julie. You know what? I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to round my ed, my corners. If I can I think, find uh, anything. I think most everybody in this group loves stencils. That's just kind of a thing. Yeah. I we really, all, it seems them. like, um, Every couple of sales, somebody's messaging me, are you going to have stencils? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm always I like I can use every medium. Stencils. Yeah. Always. Always on the lookout for stencils. So I'm looking at these wooden buttons and trying to decide what I want to put them on. And I'm not crazy about any of these backgrounds. Oh, maybe this purple one. Maybe that would be pretty. The, I mean, the card is this over here, but the background is just a lavender. That might be pretty. That might work. Um, not that side. Because you need to be able to see the buttons, and these are kind of, the buttons are kind of busy. So if you have a busy background, then it kind of makes it difficult. All right. So let's see. I might then take a um, teal marker. This is a teal metallic marker. And maybe I would just write across the top button card. It's a button swatch card. Not that they wouldn't know that, but you know, everything was done by hand then. Didn't have any digital stuff. No, yeah, it would all have been hand stitched and, so, and I do yeah. Have though it's just too nice and neat and new and clean for me and you really want it grungy and <laughs> let's see i think so yeah was i started moving the furniture around i uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> i took my um my what's my you know, the little things you stick on here and then you use it to put ink on your paper. What are they? <laughs> your blending tools? My blending tools. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I took my blending, uh, oh, blending I <laughs> and I put them really, and I put them somewhere so they wouldn't get buried when I started moving things around. Sounds like my life right now. I forgot where to put them. So <laughs> I have some replacement foams. <laughs> But I had to pull out these. I haven't even broken out these and used them yet. So I guess I'm going to do that tonight. These minis. Because I didn't know where these were. And uh, use the finger tool instead of the whole tool. <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> uh, everybody likes stencils. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Johnny's patting her back and getting pats on the back from everybody else because she's up on the page. Yeah, you got to remember to use stencils. Sometimes we do forget and you just got to pull them out and um, kind of. I them. use them more than anything else, but I keep them very on my desk. Um, coming up. Um, we're going to do, we'll, we'll have, you know, and 
haven't decided whether to do these as tutorials or as a Saturday Night Live or another time craft along, but man, I don't think I want straight edges on that either. Um, I haven't had time to do two, uh, tutorials. Um, I know, but recently. so yeah, I want to do like uh, ten ways ten ways to use your stencil because there's just so many different things, and that's not and so. We could do that on a Saturday Night Live. That would be fun. You know, 10 different ways to use stencils. Oh, yeah. Um, and another one that we're going to do, and this will definitely be a, probably a Saturday Night Live, but if not, it'll be a craft along, is um, using alcohol inks. There are so many different ways to using alcohol inks and um, just fun stuff. And we need to do that soon. Everybody's been getting their alcohol inks all ready to go. I just got another batch of alcohol inks in this week. So a bunch of colors that we had run out of that people wanted. Um, I'm itching. I played with them just a hair this week. I'm, I, I say played with loosely because actually I was just like dropping drops and seeing what happened with certain things and what, how exactly the color looked, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. <gasps> I but I got myself something new this week. I got a bunch of new stuff that I haven't had time to play with yet. So I'm I hoping to get to breaks to out you. tonight. I forgot to even tell you. What'd you get? I got myself a, uh, what is it? 12 by 14, 14 by 16, 14 by 16. I, I don't know. Lucy, is it 12 by 14 or 14 by 16? I asked Lucy because she's the one that told me that there was one this big. Gel plate. I thought you were talking to the dog for a second. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking your dog a question. Oh, my goodness. No, no. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's 12 by 14 or 14 by 16. I can't remember. I think it's 14 by 16. And it's huge. It's huge. What is it? Split the gel plate. Oh, okay. Yeah. 14 by 16 gel plate. It's huge. So I can't well, wait you know, I've made all but one of mine. Hmm? I've made all but one of mine, you know, and I, I have know. the video to make one. I don't have time. Uh, I, to you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, you don't. God. Well, I don't anymore either. I did then. <laughs> I will again, it. though. You show how to make it. I show uh, how to buy it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I um, I actually will again though, I promise, have time to do things like that. Yeah. I I have just well, been you know, I, things have been crazy. Yeah, they have. And I I rather have time to do uh tutorials. Right. I think it's 14 by 16. You think so too, Lucy? I think it is because I remember thinking, okay, that's bigger than a 12 by 12. I could put a 12 by 12 piece of paper on it and there's still edges to pick up. But really what it does is make me feel like I don't have to put whatever it is, ink or paint, all the way to the edge, which I kind of like. So I think it's 14 by 16 um, because I thought my 12 by 12 paper is going to drown, <laughs> which I liked. I'm, I'm real excited to try it. Um, there's some things I want to try with alcohol ink on that, but there's just there's a lot of techniques. Um, in fact, several people have asked me recently about different ways to use alcohol ink and um, said, can we just have a night where we just, you know, w go over different ways to use alcohol ink. So I do think that that would be a great idea just to have an alcohol ink night. And we can even try things that we've never tried before. You know, that's always fun to do that on camera. Well, so me, it'll be all stuff I've never tried because I'm not yeah. a master at alcohol okay. ink. I barely yeah, have some. I only have a few of them. It's okay. not something I've played with a lot. So, uh -huh. Well, yeah. sometimes you show us how to do something. Sometimes I show how to do something. So yeah. we, can, uh, we can play. I'm good with that. Yeah. I, I, I still really want to um, play with and do the shaving cream. I know you haven't done that one yet, but it's how to make marbled paper, how to make your own marbled paper. Yeah, I've seen it done. I yeah. Do. Oh, perfect. If they're just raw chipboard, you could um, grab a stencil and some ink. And you can stencil whatever you want on those um, on those buttons, or you could just make them a solid color. You could do whatever I you want. I stamp on wood and uh, on stamp. chipboard. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. making uh, paper buttons? 
Is that what you, is that what I read? I really found some chipboard buttons. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is almost, this is not big enough. This is not, I should have, no, that's not what I want. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Goodness, goodness me. It's not big enough for what I want to do. I just got too many buttons on it. <laughs> I love the new cover because it's the group, not just a picture pulled from the internet somewhere. That's true. Yeah. I do like that for that reason, Tina. But I do have to tell you, the picture that was there of those flowers, the pink and purple flowers, I'm a, sometimes I've used pink and sometimes I've used purple. Those were not pulled from the internet somewhere. Those were photos I took of actual flowers outside. So, yeah, I don't ever use somebody else's like that for mannequin chipboard pieces. Oh, cool. They shaving cream paper, but it can get messy. It can get messy. You just have to be careful about it. But yeah, so all the all the um, flower photos were my own. They were my own photographs that I took on my very own camera. <laughs> but I do love this one better. I love our new logo. Um, I love the new logo and I love the collage behind it of everybody's work. Um, oh, Julie, perfect. Perfect. Those buttons will make the chipboard buttons will be perfect. Um, okay. Another thing, but another card that I'm going to do, Julie, is like embellishments that they can put on the dress. And one of those things would be, um, I have some big uh, safety pins that uh, are coilless, or it doesn't matter if they have coils or not. And I'll have some things dangling from those. And so that might be one element they could put on the dress. Another thing could be like cameos or flowers, or I've got you know a whole bunch of other things over here that for another card of things that they could put on the desk or a bunch of cards. Um, so those are perfect. Yeah. Just decide how you want to color them or um, stamp on them or just ink them or spray them or take out some paint and just paint it. Whatever you like doing. But the shaving cream is fun because it's a, a simple way to make marbled paper. And sometimes it's just fun to get your fingers in the goo. Right, Sharon? <laughs> oh, I love to get messy. We like There's nothing like it. Good day is when I have paint on my hands, yep. honestly. Yep. And so then that's the shaving cream is just making marbled paper. Um, and there's actually, I actually know of several different ways to do it with shaving cream. Um, I mean, there's multiple ways that you, I'm sure there's even more than that that I'm not aware of. But. Um, okay. One done. Nice. I'm just talking away. Go ahead. Decisions. Keep going. I'm just going to share real quick kind of what oh. I decided to do on this one. And I'll hey, do the next one extremely I'm different. I'm making you solo layout. Okay. There you go. So I made a little, a little swatch clip. And I made these actually match the card instead of, you know, I'm suggesting that these are the colors that... Um, that I can make and the fabrics I might use to make these different turbans. Oh, so all of them flip up just like that. This is a great way to bash through those uh, fabric scraps, by the way, yeah. to like really go through them. Especially if you scrap. make, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I use Nouveau drops, which I'm going to try not to touch. And That's I've got a, a shell button here. And appliques. And that's it for now. This is one style, though. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Thank I you, like Dara. Like it. Dara? Is it Dara? Is it Dara or Dara? I'm, say, I'm saying Dara. But you write it out phonetically if that's wrong. <laughs> Ooh, Julie cameos would be perfect for this. Yeah, cameos. Margie doesn't, do you know Margie doesn't like to get messy? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. But she I loves do. watch. She loves watching yeah. us get messy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I know we're okay doing it because I know Margie will have yeah. fun watching us and laughing at us. Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> thank you, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> this is just okay. That's all right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this this way. Um, 
this is funny because this is not all oh. at all what I envisioned. But Maybe I'm going to do the other one. Looks good, huh? Hmm? It, shaving cream paper smells good. Um, it could. It would smell like what the shaving, like Sarah. Wow. Dara. Oh, it doesn't paint Sorry. like uh, yeah, Dara. Yeah. Okay, it's Dara, like Sarah. It oh, would okay. smell like whatever the shaving cream smelled like. But here's the thing, yeah. in case I forget to tell you later, when you do the shaving cream techniques, you cannot use gel. It has to be foam shaving cream. Did I tell you when my kid, we've talked about this before, but I wasn't sure if I brought up when my kids were little, I used to, and it was a lot to afford a can of shaving cream, by the way. Um, and they didn't have the gel back then. We right. would buy a can of the shaving cream. Yep. And they had a white kids table and mm -hmm. they had a bucket of toys and I would empty out a can of shaving cream on their table uh -huh. and they would sit and scoop and play in it, you know, uh -huh. like a sandbox. Yeah. But it would bleach their, it would bleach How their fun. table too. How fun. <laughs> How fun. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Just go to the dollar store and get a dollar can of, usually it's like Barbasol whatever it's it's foam foam um foam shaving cream a dollar don't get anything expensive and don't get gel and so uh, if really it's cheap you can do a ton of marbled paper with and then all you need um i mean there's a lot of different ways to to do it you can use acrylic paint you can use alcohol ink you can use reinkers of any kind that you like um you could use acrylic ink. Food coloring. We used to put food coloring in the shaving cream for the kids. Oh, yeah. I, I'm imagining you could probably use food coloring for that. I imagine you probably could. Yeah. Is food coloring permanent? Uh, it should be on paper. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with another different style now. Lucy, so you know what I was gonna do was was run some. I should I should, and I'll you know what I'll do that later. If I'm watching a movie or something. I will sew these on. Um, what I was gonna do was run thread through this so that it looks like it's sewn on, and then just glue it on because yeah, they didn't have glue back then. <laughs> but because I've been talking so much about all these new things. And I'm not even getting a card made. I thought I'd just glue these on. But yeah, and even like my lace one, I, I would really rather um, sew the pieces of lace on. That kind of thing. What did they use for glue back then? Did they have any kind of glue? Any kind of uh, yeah, uh, horse hooves and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You turn the horses. Old I'm not, I'm not sure when that started, though. I, I, that's that's I really where you got it. the send the horse to the glue factory. <laughs> right, right. Which sounds terrible, and now I feel guilty using glue. Okay, great. <laughs> Next week I won't be eating meat. Great. <laughs> well, yeah. They didn't really send it to the glue factory, but after the horse died, then they used the hooves and things. And so that, I think, is a good thing because um, they're not wasting parts and pieces of it. All right, suggest so some other things that Julie might have. Julie? Did you make any of the lace uh, flowers that I did a while just ago? Cardboard. You just take the lace and, and pull it up to make the flowers. Did you do any of those? Those will work great. Um, any just basic lace trim. Um, any? How about any of these, like flat back pearls or any of the pearl pearl uh, pearl trim new drop? ribbon? You could do nouveau drops. I'll stick my hand in them, so I'll yep. wait till the very end for that. <laughs> so this one is funny to me because it looks like she has like her bloomers on her head or something. Mm -hmm. This this one. Do you see this? Uh huh. It does. The lady from the kit. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing. Did she just wash her hair? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's trying it's to make like it a, like room. a Georgian towel. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Lucy's right. Uh, liquid watercolor works well with shaving cream paper. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could probably use sprinkles to like um Ken Oliver or um or Perfect Pearls or any of those cuz it's, it's like a powdered watercolor. 
That would probably work too. Mm -hmm. That might be way but more it's random. Not, also. But it's not, yeah, it's not going to mix this quite the same way. But you can no. certainly see what you get from it. If you wanted more speckled paper. Yeah, it might be really if fun. Mixing it up, you probably just get more of a, more of a, either speckled or more of a solid color, you know, because it, once it mix up and, and, and kind of melts into everything. But, but I don't know. I can't, I haven't tried it. So I guess I can't really say. I don't know which one I want to use. Well, maybe I will use that one. She's more colorful. Okay, so I'm just going to number these. That's one, and you can choose A or B, and this is two, and you could choose A or B. And this is three, and you could choose A or B. And this is four, and you could choose A or B. So if you wanted buttons off of this card... Are oh, you really. making dress speakers notes? Um, on, well, on the button card, I'm just uh, numbering the buttons. So if you said, well, I I like, you know, in row number one, I want button B. That's the one I want. Yeah, that's and fine. In my but notes of how I was going to make your dress, I would put buttons 1B. Yes, that's what I would do. All right, I'm going to set that aside for a minute because I want to do um, the other um kind of button card that i wanted to do where did i put the where did i put the card where did i put all the cards oh it was just oh here it is it was just right here oh here it is all right so first maybe i'll try grunging this up with this i don't really like doing edges with this makeup brush I don't think it does edges as well as the no, it doesn't. sponge um, one, but um, I like, I prefer to use the makeup brush when it comes to stencils or things like that, things in the center. I think it does amazing for that, way better than the the sponge does. I got to uh, take Dom Dom out. She's already whining at me. Aw. I take them out right before we right before night, we go live. Patty. Good night, Patty. <laughs> Hope you get feeling better. Go get some sleep. Okay. Definitely go get some sleep. Um, let's see, Julie. Did you okay, send another one? Now. Oh, let's see the Brads. Okay. Um, oh wow, Julie. Those are Brads. Those would be amazing. Yeah, use one of each of those. That would be perfect. She's got some cameos that are Brads. That is amazing. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, put those on the Where card. Did you put those? I don't know, but they look really cool. Okay, so that doesn't um, doesn't do with that. She hurt her hand. I never get a decent dark edge either. I have to use a sponge to get a darker edge. But this one, I just wanted to be a grungy card, and. I brought out a button jar. I should have grabbed one of those little uh, ballet trays, little square leather thing to pour some of these buttons into so they wouldn't be everywhere. So I'm not going to roll, not going to roll the button thing around and around. Yes. And, let's see. Okay. I got to go out. I'm She's pacing by the door okay. she heard me. I'll be right back. <laughs> go ahead. Oops. I just dropped a button on the floor. Hopefully Lucy doesn't come along and eat it. All right. So now buttons don't have to match because I'm only putting one on that is a sample of what they might choose. So I thought I set one up here earlier too that I found. There. Yep, I did. Okay. All right. So um don't have any lace trim do you have any lace julie doesn't have to be trim flat back pearls works um yeah hope you get feeling better quickly patty get some sleep get some rest i agree those makeup brushes are better for stenciling Let's see they do so on the <laughs> um when you said they Maybe, oh, it may not be available anymore. You're talking about the Cameo um, Brads, right? I found a set of um, makeup brushes on Amazon 
Um, I want to say there's 10, 10 brushes in the set and they're $11. Or 11 brushes in the set and they're ten dollars i want to i think that there's 10 brushes in the set and they're eleven dollars and they're all the different sizes amazing so um i asked candy to put that link um in the affiliate on the affiliate list in the, in the page um and i want to thank everybody who has used the affiliate link to go into amazon to purchase anything um really really do appreciate that it doesn't matter if you're buying toothpaste or what you the link you went in on it doesn't even matter but we do appreciate it. We're just hoping that that will um, be able to bring enough to cover the cost of StreamYard and things like that. Um, so every any little thing that you go into Amazon and buy, if you will use one of the links to just to get in and then go straight to your cart, if you've already got it in your cart, we really, really do appreciate it so much. I didn't see Debbie Royer here tonight. Was Debbie here and I just missed her? I don't think so. Ooh, that's kind of a pretty one. Would that have been, would have that have been back in the time? Encased in metal or not? It's like pearl encased in metal. Oh, well, that's not, it's not wanting to focus on that very well. Yeah, but let's see. So a fabric covered button would have been perfect. Um, Hmm. Let's see. I'm looking for huh, a googly eye. Would a googly eye have been in there? What's that doing in the buttons? <laughs> this one, I would like, like to find some pearl type. That's pretty. How about a clear button? Ooh, that's pretty. It looks like crystal. See if that will focus. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I've had a clear one before. Oh, there's that one would have been. Uh, oh, there's a good old vintage one. All of them in this in this jar are vintage, which is why I brought them out. But some of them um, definitely look more vintage than others. That one's definitely an old oldie oldie. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, let's see here. Uh, let me check that, Julie. <clears throat> oh, yeah, those little flowers are perfect. Oh, look at that. Yeah, in your box. <clears throat> those little tiny flowers. Yes, I'm going to use those too. Just take one of every color. They're perfect. And then the little bit bigger flowers. You could take one of each color if you wanted of that. Um, and you could, on the white ones, you could cut off one of the white ones to use uh, with the others. And that would be like the embellishment card. The decorate, decorative card, decorating. I'm um, back. All the fun things you want to put on your dress. Embellishments, decorations, whatever they call them. Hey, Julie. You could use fancy as edge scissors, you know, or just pinking shears and make what looks like rickrack to make it look like trim if you don't have trim. Yeah, you could do that. As a matter yeah. of fact, I, I will do that real quick with, with some pinking shears, I guess. Uh, all right, so I'm looking for, I mean, yeah. a lot of the buttons back then were the classic white in different sizes, different colors of white. Scrap. Some of those just old basic white buttons. And that might have been a good one. Oh, now I'm feeling so like I'm I should throw these buttons on because these are really great. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Anybody remember this button? I remember having that on something as a kid. I think it was on a coat. Hmm. It's kind of dirty. Maybe I'll just leave it dirty. I think I'll do that. All right. 
need. Uh, ooh. Wow, this is a cool button. Look at this button. I'm going to show you the side too. It's because I, I'm not sure what that is. It kind of looks like Mother of Pearl. It's a shell, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shell of some kind. And the bottom yeah. is, I mean, it's they're two distinct layers. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it is really cool. I haven't even fully looked through this button jar since I got it. There's some white ones that I'm looking for. Trying to make this look grungy and match her feathers here. I, you know, I want to make this look a little, a little darker too. Let's see. How about a? Oh, so this I printed off and they were next to each other and yeah. I just uh, folded it in half. So I kind of made a little, oh. and I printed it on cardstock and I made a little card out of it. Um, pearly white. Trying not to move these buttons too much because I know it makes a horrible sound on camera. <clears throat> I like the sound. Yeah, but it can be really obnoxious to somebody listening to it through the through YouTube. I like the sound in person. Just like the sound of shells, also a oh, good yeah. sound. Yeah, that's a great sound. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting enough variety. There's some. Got to have a few colored ones in there for their colored dresses. They might not want white if they're picking a green dress or a red dress although i should probably look uh at how high they're going to stand up so that i'm not adding a ton of bulk okay oh how about pretty is that um, fabric covered gold fabric covered I think I just lost it. All right, so what have I got in green? I've got that and that and that. And it's kind of pinkish, that and that and that. Brown, white. What color is that one? I don't even know. I'll put that one back. Um, kind of pearl. Um, Let's see, white, that, that. Um, okay. Um, here we go. That one could go over there, and that one with those. Kind of grouping them, kind of, sort of how they might look at them to choose. There we go. Did they have metal buttons back then? Uh, yes, and I, um, they were more like shanks, I think. Yeah. Or <clears throat> the kind with the shank. Yeah. yeah um, a lot of we did, jokes, but I was gonna put hook and eyes on um one of mine too because yeah. I really like using them. <laughs> I pulled those out and the ones I pulled out are actually like 70 years old. And then I had my arm full carrying over here and I 
dropped them and I, they went down into a box. <laughs> uh -oh. So I may not be doing the hook and eye tonight, but I do plan to do them. So a metal button like this that came back from way back when that's even scratched up because it's, where's that paint on it? Let me find even out. Better. Yeah, but I think that's, um, that can go with that and that. And <clears throat> we'll call it that. Okay. So I've got a huge variety now. Um, that should probably do it. Lucy said they did have metal ones. Um, Julie, you have tons of buttons. Awesome. Let's see. I got to go back and check some. Hey, oh, get it out. Oh, yeah. Kendall. You have tons of vintage white buttons. I need some. I'm always up for a swap, Kendall. Always up for a swap. <laughs> I am looking for something in the right color. Julie. I'm uh, looking in my show button stash since I'm in my oh shoe button since shoe section of my book. Ah, of course, it depends on your wealth. That is true. <laughs> Julie's got loads of buttons. Mm. Julie's in Australia. It costs too much to ship them. Um, but Kendall, if you have loads of buttons, you've got loads of vintage buttons, I'm up for a swap always. I don't have loads of buttons. Open cut steel, glass, jewels, threaded. Yes, love the sound of buttons and crinkly paper. I just know that it's not always a pleasant sound to everybody over, over YouTube. A lot of black glass and the cut steel, they are so nice. Ooh, cool. I love those. Let me check, Julie. Hmm. Oh, Julie, that's perfect. Yes. Minnie, she's got a bunch of a variety of, of little teeny tiny crocheted um, like flowers or small doilies, just little. You could make um, a swatch card of those as embellishments they might choose on their dress. <laughs> We're all scrounging around for things to use. Let's see. So, um, color wise, look at this one. It's kind of different. Let's see if I can get it. Here it comes. Can you see that button, Shannon? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I oh. think I have one like that in a different color. Same style, though. Wow. Yeah. All right. So I haven't done any red ones. Let's see. Uh, now I've got buttons everywhere. That's okay. So... So I'll have button card A, and then this might be button card B, and maybe on this one I would have those like that, maybe um, the green ones. I can't wait to see how everybody does these. Yeah, you know they're all going to be different. Yeah. Well, I'm certainly going to make all of mine different to, sh to show all the different ways mm -hmm. that I see them. Oh, that one's pretty. Um, pink. You could do. Even hang a pin off with a stack of buttons. Two, three. Like yeah. a swatch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a long pin with. Uh -huh. I, buttons on them. I have, I pulled out some long pins and I pulled out some um, hat pins. Um, 
and some long stick pins. Oh yeah. That could be used for things like that. Um, let's see. This one was down here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to glue them all on and then I'll probably go back and, and uh, just run thread, needle and thread through them to sew them on later. Because uh, definitely they look more realistic sewn on. I'm eating Twizzler. <laughs> Sounds yummy. I do have a donut sitting here that Doug brought me. Oh my gosh, I want donuts. Donuts are my weakness. I don't eat them ever. I never have them in the house. Yeah. Because I love them so much. Flower-shaped white plastic. Oh, and the, oh, the clear-cut glass. Yeah. Those are pretty, Kendall. Uh, see, sounds like she sends you happy mail. <laughs> Kendall, I, I'm serious. I'm always up for a swap. I will swap you something for some buttons. I'm, uh, I'm always good, good for that. Can you dye your buttons with inks? Yes, alcohol ink yes. will cover most everything. And pins and paper clips and anything, yeah. Alcohol ink is great for, for dyeing and coloring mm -hmm. things, for sure. For sure. That's another thing you can do with alcohol ink. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. So I'm going to stop here. Okay. Margie, the one I did was not as elaborate as these little ladies are doing. Oh, sure junk journal with the digis um today at the thrift store you saw a twinkie holder it was a cowboy <laughs> that sounds fun <laughs> oh so i'm gonna stop here okay. this is a really simple one. Oh, that's pretty i do like it but it's a card so just tuck <laughs> into a box. Oh yeah. 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 So you tuck the back in the pocket and the front can be over the front of the pocket. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Okay, so pearly would be kind of that is kind of pearly. And that one's kind of pearly. And let's see. I am gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna okay. use a pearl uh nouveau drop here or a or a whatever perfect pearls or whatever it is yeah liquid pearls um and uh put a pearl on her hat mm, pretty on That's the bow and where the feather is okay this pearl needs to go with that i feel like there I need it one is more pearly one more pearly button. That one will work right there. Okay. That up. Why? I guess I better take a bite of the donut before I forget it's there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had enough sugar today. <laughs> Me either. This is... All right. Let's see which one I want to use next. Um... All right, I need to cut the shank off if I want to glue it on. Where are my... Let's see, there's a pair. Long reach over the table. Signing off, Dara. Have a great night. Happy Easter. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, have a wonderful Easter with your family. I feel like we have more things to talk about. Oh, you know what? Well, you already you already gave away the six thirty secret. Yeah. Um. And there's mm -hmm. a there's one there's one more that kind of sort of goes with that one. Um. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of a cool thing. It's not you know like a huge 
deal. Um, well, we're having, we're going to have our first um, happy paper people market uh, next Saturday, a week from today. Uh huh. Yeah. So if and you I'm are, doing it. <laughs> if you are a happy paper people, if you are a happy paper people people person, and happy people did. <laughs> you would like to be involved in future markets um, as a seller. Maybe it's not something you want to do all the time on your own channel, but once in a while you'd like to be able to sell your creations or you know whatever it is. Um, just send me a private message, just so I know who wants to be involved going forward. Um, so next Saturday, so next weekend is the second weekend of the month, which is typically my sale weekend, Friday night and Saturday. So we'll have our um, traditional Friday night sale and we will have alcohol inks. We will have minte papers, new ones. And uh, I mean, new ones mean different than we had last week. Um, we will have Stamperia. Um, that might be all the time we have. I don't know. Um, but then Saturday, we won't have my tri uh, my uh, standard normal sale. It will be the Happy Paper People Market. And it will be the same time, though, 10 to 4, Mountain Standard Time, on the Happy Paper People channel. Uh, so come support. There will be four sellers. Um, there will be four sellers there. So And Sharon will be one of them. So come support the four uh, happy paper people that will be selling that day. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, I can't say that real fast. Obviously, happy paper. I do it well for once or twice, and then all of a sudden <laughs> I'm all over my tongue. But the cool thing about that goes along with that is along with the logo for happy paper people that is in the group that says makers, um, creators of all things art. We also created a Happy Paper People Market logo. So we have, so from now on, um, when I create the events for like Saturday Night Live, um, things like that, uh, and sales, then I'll use that Happy Paper People logo. That way it'll be easy, easy to recognize, easy to spot. It's the same thing every time, um, you know, because sometimes you just see them at a glance, you know exactly what you're looking for. Other times picture changes all the time and you don't really know if that's the right one or not, or you have to go read. And I'm all for, you know, quick at a glance, let me know if I've got the right place. Um, but then when we do the Happy Paper People Market, we'll use the Happy Paper People Market one, which will include all makers. Um, so I'm excited about that one. It's very similar. The words on it are different because it says happy paper people market, market, not makers. Um, and that'll just be for that community sale. I am not, this is not cutting down flush enough for me. So I'm trying to just like bend it till I get it off. And it's not, uh, it's not ripping off as easily as I wanted it to. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see, after your shoe section, you have two real vintage gloves pinned in. Oh, nice. That is nice, Kendall. Awesome. Sorry, I have Look how big you are. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're opening up this Thursday, Kendall? So you're back to work on Thursday? Happy paper people, happy paper people, happy paper people, happy paper people. <laughs> I do it like that and I can do it, but I'm just talking and all of a sudden I'm saying happy paper people. <laughs> happy paper <papal> people. <laughs> people. Happy pickled papers. <laughs> All right, this is taking entirely too long. I should have a rasp over here where I can just kind of um, file that off a bit. My dog is begging for licorice now. You're not having licorice. No. Are you? Are you eating licorice? I am. <laughs> I remember I'm eating Twizzler. 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I love Twizzlers. <laughs> I don't eat them usually. Will uh, got some the other day. So when we went back to the store, I got some and hid them here in the room. It's not usually my fare, you know, like usually I go straight for the chocolate, but I it was just so good. You know what? You know what the best Twizzlers are? Hershey's no. chocolate Twizzlers. I have never seen that. Are you kidding? Do they taste okay. anything like chocolate hubba bubba? Because that's gross. Remember that from when we were kids Ew. or when I was a kid? No, it just tastes like chocolate licorice. <laughs> well, it tastes like plastic to me. Oh, yeah. So, okay, does anybody does anybody else get um, chocolate licorice at your local places, stores? I've never seen those. I honestly have never seen it anywhere but Utah. Growing up here, um, we had it. I saw it. And then when I left the state never saw it again and then when it came mm -hmm. back there it was <laughs> i was so excited i, I love chocolate it tastes like chocolate hubba bubba oh no that sounds gross it is really it's actually hershey's chocolate in it it like twizzlers with but chocolate they really are good hmm but um but i do like red licorice too but i would take chocolate <laughs> first any day <laughs> i would try them because i like chocolate everything but yeah generally dark chocolate or real chocolate yeah you gotta be open yeah to i don't like this very often i'm definitely not a red vine fan they're always too hard yeah yeah i don't like super hard licorice i want to be able to chew it Lucy, my mom loves licorice ice cream. I There's never play with the cowboy books and minty. Oh, cool. Oh, good night, Bernice. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, the vintage greeting cards are cool. Don't forget to post what you uh, are inspired by on the page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. I do have some vintage greeting cards, not a lot, but I have a few, but I just like, I feel like I would use, I don't use very many buttons because I don't have very many and I don't want to use them up. Isn't that silly? But I know I, I find it difficult to find vintage buttons around here. They're just always gone. Um, you remember my altered buttons, right? Yeah, you could always make your own altered buttons. Yeah, you don't have, to, you don't have to vintage that way. Well, but the, yeah, I mean, I and I do that, but um, but you could I make them look vintage. The the real, the real vintage buttons is. I would just love to find it. I'd love to find a great big giant jar, like the one we had when I was a kid. It was like a gallon mayonnaise jar or something, and we always mm -hmm. put the in there. Um. And it somehow disappeared from my mom's house. Somebody took it. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Yeah, it is. But yeah, that'd have been cool because that's buttons that I would have even used and put in there as a kid. That's really sad. Yeah. Aren't those cowboy books amazing, though, Kendall? <gasps> Reese's is yummy. I'm inspired by Glennis. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Glennis is inspiring. <laughs> yeah, those cowboy books are. Oh, and the mint is so beautiful. And Margie, that's you can you all can blame the mint on Margie. Margie is the one that um, connected me to mint. Like, told me, can you get mint? And I had never even heard of him before. Oh, you meant vintage playing cards, not greeting cards. I love vintage playing cards. They are so cool. They had some of the coolest pictures on the back. I'm always looking for vintage playing cards. Me too. I've got a small collection. Yeah. If anybody ever wants to play cards in my house, they're in trouble because there's like some missing out of every deck. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, they'll be awful mad. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> This is a funky one. It's got a funky shape on the bottom, so it's not going to sit flat. So I'm going to see if I can build up the glue. The fabric out so that when that hardens, it will be like a little wall around there. Hold it in place. It's going to take it a while to harden with that much glue on it, but, but hey, that's okay. This looks like a button that somebody did make themselves and then covered with fabric. It looks like it's made out of chipboard and then covered in fabric. Interesting. I have those where you can use fabric to cover buttons. So it's oh, like yeah. the, the base. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little kit or tool. I have some of those mm -hmm. buttons, actually. I don't, I don't think I have the tool right now, but I do have the buttons. I mean, I don't remember. I don't think I have a tool. I don't remember a tool, at least. That pushes the, the metal back that comes with it onto the button after you've put the fabric over it. I mean, but you don't have mm -hmm. to do that. You can just put the fabric over it. Yeah, I don't think it. Back. I don't think that's in the directions. I'm, you know, I always look for old sewing kits. So, scored a can of buttons on eBay. Oh, nice, Kendall. Nice, nice. Now going to eat some Purdy's peanut butter fingers. I could not resist any longer. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> and Margie says, "Blame it on May May because May May is the one that showed her minte." <laughs> Uh, scored some old playing cards with, Lady cards and with owls and horses. Oh, that's cool. You can always tell the early 70s, the owls are real 70 ish. The, I guess, hmm, probably if I looked at it, then I'd go, Oh, yeah, that does look like that time. But right now, I can't think of what um, a 70s owl looks like orange and brown, and <laughs> yeah, oh, those colors. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Olive yeah. green, olive green, puke yellow. Um, it's all colors I like, but <sighs> my grandma used to collect owls. Oh, really? Uh huh. Huh. There was she had a huge owl collection. That's interesting. Mm hmm. So every time we see owls, we think of her. Yeah, mom and I. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole container for just my fabric covered buttons. Wow. Love the plaid ones and the striped mod ones. Yeah, the plaid ones are really cool. A whole container of just fabric covered buttons and then are containers of other buttons. You do have a lot of buttons. And my button mania just happened this year <laughs> due to junk journaling. <laughs> Margie used to collect owls too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm not a fan of those 70s colors, Julie. I just remember all the appliances in avocado green, um, mustard yellow, <laughs> or no, what was it called? Um, oh, shoot. Avocado green. What was Golden rod or something um, like that. There's a gold and the, there's a orange and then there's a brown. Um, uh I used to sell Tupperware way back in the day, and that was the same color as the Tupperware bowls, and they all had, you know, the name of that color. Uh, anyway, I was never a fan of those colors back then, or now. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Just, I just didn't didn't do it for me. I guess. Kendall started getting owl ornaments at Christmas. Hmm. That I don't think cool. I've owl ornaments that would be cool though because owls in the tree then you know owls are really in the tree and mm -hmm. now the owls are on the tree <laughs> oh this one is driving me crazy trying to get
get enough of that shank off and it's just plastic, but I just can't get it down low enough with this tool. Ugly gold yellow. Yes, that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> Love the sound they make. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Damn it. No, I don't make a very good owl. Just trying to read her sound. Hmm. All right. As soon as I do this, I'll pull up Glennis's and show you what Glennis has been making. All right. I got to finish the button one because I want to get to a lace and trim one. I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff for that. And I really want to get to that. Okay. All right. See, that's just standing up entirely too far. Of course, I could have made a little hole and pushed it through to the other side. Probably still could. Mm -hmm. uh, how's your headache, Sharon? Um, it's better than it was. That's I mean, it's funny. not gone. But I've had it all day. Yeah. Huh? That's funny because mine's worse than it was. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry. It's not super bad. I mean, it's not like, you know, I got to go. I can't handle this. Mine um, was super bad when I started, but I had, yeah. I mean, I've tried everything today. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm just, I'm not getting enough sleep and I really over did it this week in my room. I, you know, I was really sick on Monday and then, um, Tuesday night, we finally got the desk moved in here. Um, and my mom came on Thursday. So I was two days behind technically. And I was also waiting for bill to, to get the desk moved up here. And so by the time I got that done, then mom came the next day and, uh, I just didn't have time, you know, yeah. and I've been working really hard to get it put back together now because it's mm -hmm. been in a state of just, you know, disorganization since I started doing this yeah. um, because I, you know, was waiting on, on building the day off. Which yeah. We're doing a complete redo. Yeah. 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 And, that's okay. and there is no behind. It's whatever time frame we get it done. Yeah. In. So, yeah. No, I know it's an ongoing thing, but I want to get it done. I want to get it mostly done to share it. You know, I'd like to share it and I'd well, like to be able to do tutorials again. And I can't, I just don't have time right now. I'd like to get it done so that I could get to everything and know where everything is in its new place. Right. Right. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's driving me crazy to not be, um, not have time to do all the other things I'd like. And I'm not being able no. to create right now like I normally am. Usually I have more things to post and I have, you know, I might have time to do a tutorial. So I just don't, I haven't even played with my new toys. I was yeah. so looking forward to tonight so yeah. that I could break out my stuff. I haven't broke out one new thing yet though. <laughs> We might have to do a Saturday night gel plate night soon. Yeah, I'm I down. Gel plate. I, I really, yeah, I definitely I really do that. want to make some marbled paper with shaving cream techniques. I was going to ask if you wanted to do that next week. Oh, um, it doesn't really require a lot of space and, and stuff. All you I need really want to the girdles and we are doing the sales next week oh that's right uh, yeah i wonder yeah it's an extra well, mess to pull yeah. out so we want to what i think we want to think about is that if we don't want to do this dressmaker book every week right people will be working on it on their own and um you know we can come in a couple of weeks we can come back in and do an, another one of the we you know some of the ideas and techniques we thought about, but why don't, don't we talk about it later in the week? Yeah, um, we'll figure it out like we usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it earlier in the week this time. <laughs> well, that's fine too, but you know, we talk on <laughs> yeah. the phone a couple times a week, so yeah, we already knew what we were doing this week. We did talk about it early, yeah, we did this week. Uh huh. Treasure your mom's Tupperware and it's bright yellow and orange. Oh, Kendall, you can keep it. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, now what? We have the tawny frog mouth owl in our neighborhood. We can hear it. Oh, that okay. Australia has the best names of their birds and things. They have pretty cool birds too. They are cool looking, but they just have the best names. Every time Julie tells us about a bird, it's got this like just amazing name. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not just the owl; it's the tawny frog mouth owl. <laughs> That's right. We actually have an owl that lives um, in our big tree. Yeah. And uh, once in a while, at dusk, we'll see him fly out. And one night, he flew so close to Bill's head. Ooh. And he was, he was huge. Like, he was swooping uh -huh. down to get something on the other side of the garage. And Bill was standing there. And it was, it was so funny. Wow. Um, Bill didn't really see it. I'm the one that saw it. Like, it was sure. a, a couple feet from his head. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Mm -hmm. When you want the camera going, of course, you never have it because, you know. Yeah. We have a yeah. chicken hawk that lives up in our 50 foot pine trees. Oh, wow. Uh huh. That's cool. Yeah. I don't cool. know what a chicken hawk looks, what looks like, they, except for I'm a chicken hawk, you know, yeah, from really. uh, Foghorn uh -huh. Leghorn. <laughs> They are hawks that like to dive bomb chickens and take them away. Oh, I guess that's not good. For real. No, not very good. Uh -huh. No. I actually watched him swoop down and and um, and uh, get a bird, like a dove or um, I can't mm -hmm. remember if it was a dove or a, um, oh, what's the other one that's always back there? I don't remember because he just pick them up and carry them away. Um, and he, he um, stalks the chickens when they're out in the yard. He stalks oh. them. And one time I happened to be sitting on the back porch, just chilling. And the chickens were just right off the porch, um, real close to me. And he came out of the pine tree and just dive bombed for the chickens. And there oh my was gosh. about six of them there. <laughs> he tried to get one and they all went after him. And oh, really? There's a little tree there, a magnolia tree. And he went running around the tree. I could see the whole thing. So, so he came, you know, he's on one side and he came running so towards me around on? to get away from the chickens. He went running around the tree to the other side. He was oh all discombobulated and took him a second to get his bearings before he could fly off because chickens said, Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I can't believe the chickens stuck up for themselves. Yeah. There's chickens are smart. Chickens are really smart. People don't think they are, but they really are. Okay, great. Now I can't eat chicken also. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Every week I'm almost thinking about becoming a vegetarian because I love animals so much. I have a problem. Yeah, <laughs> we've had the same thought. <laughs> but, you know. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't come apart. No, no, no. Don't That's come apart. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, all right. That button's all funky. Got to fill that one with glue. And the weather's so nice here today. I opened the oh, front what's here back door and try to get a little cross breeze going. It's actually warm up here, and I had oh, to turn a fan yeah. because I yeah. couldn't get to the window. So yeah, nice. And the AC is, of course, not in yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, and I'm not liking that. that so I'm going to use this pencil. And... I'm just uh, coming up with different variations of this card or these cards so we can show different ways to make them mm -hmm. um, to fill a journal and to fill pockets and all the other little elements that we all like to make so much. Mm -hmm. um, so there's so many different variations. 
So I'm seeing how many I can come up with, basically. Okay. <laughs> so here we have another one. Cool. And I use three of the little minis on here and three different mm -hmm. kinds of trim. And mm -hmm. it's trim that you might find on these garments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is a, ch a chipboard with um, pattern paper on it uh, that I did a while back. And it was sitting in my stash. Um, and I might go back in after my Nouveau Mousse dries, of course, or my uh, uh, Nouveau Mousse. Yeah. After my Perfect Pearls dries, <laughs> I might go back in with a little gel yeah. pen or something and uh, intensify their colors. Right. On their dresses. Yeah. They're pretty. But, I like it. No. Well, it's uh, just another variation. It's not my favorite one yeah. so far, but no. um, I like it. But I like it. And it's a great way to use these. Like, this is the only piece of this trim I had. It's a great way to use things like this. It's not like I can go and sew with these. They're perfect for right. these small things. Plus, it's a nice big place to journal on the back. I got to go back and read some comments. Oh, yeah, me too. I haven't. Oh, I've been so... Joke. Just what I'm doing here. Where does the blue footed booby come from? I love that name. <laughs> Lucy says we have an owl on the walk that my husband takes every night. Wow. It has taken his That's hat cool. a couple of times. Oh, wow. That's amazing. They make themselves look like broken branch sticking off a branch and it's almost impossible to find. Wow. Thank you so much, Lucy. That's amazing. Owls are special beings, I believe. Then again, I also believe that elves really do exist. So shoot me. Why? Elves do exist, don't they, Kendall? Don't tell me they don't. Oh, let's see. That's so <laughs> what? Blue-footed booby? Is that a trick, Margie? Blue-footed booby sounds like my ex-husband. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Time for another glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> Lucy, we used to take turns reading the chat better, um, but when we're really focused on what we're doing, it's very hard. It is, you know, because we're both like, oh, we can't wait to, you know, and we're making all these fun things. And the more into it we are, the quieter we get and the less yeah. we see. We just hope you all are also crafting along with us. And, and I uh, end up just reading chat and talking and never getting anything accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Julie, I love the buttons that have, still have the old cotton thread in it. You need a mod just to read the chat for you. Yeah. That's why that's I said that, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Bring a third person on that just reads. And we've had, Candy's done that once or twice. But, um, let's see. I have room to put one more little grouping of buttons over here. What come Put that one. Yeah, I love those ones that still have the cotton thread in them. Um, is that the same as that one? It is. How about, how about that one? How about that one? Maybe I can put it right there. Yeah, that'll work. All right. <coughs> Handle laptop is perched on a mountain of ephemera. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe it, Kendall, because mine is as well. <laughs> That's too funny. It totally is. In fact, well, there's um on on top of the ephemera, I put two big um paper pads, paper stacks to try to, you know, level it out. <laughs> and then there's some paper on top of that. And then there's a plastic drawer that comes out of one of those sterilite little things of the drawers and and then my laptop <clears throat> and it's just the right height and it's working perfectly as long as I don't knock it off it's all good right Kendall <laughs> don't knock it off that's horrible <clears throat> I've got that blue-footed frog owl in my throat Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm, so so I'm going to have to 
pull out wet wipes or something because now I'm getting too much glue on my fingers. The buttons are starting to stick to my fingers. Okay, I have these other ones here. Maybe I'd like to uh, and that do a one. Just for the crafting nights, yeah. <laughs> now, button collectors would never cut off a shank or glue a button. It must oh. be sewn. I know, Kendall, but you know. But we're clearly not collectors. We're users. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We we collect all this stuff we so do. we can use it. Yeah. Collect on uh, collect it on a card. <laughs> yeah. Um, you oh, know, okay. uh, my sister Donna had a really good idea. She said I should make that instead of just being like a dressmaker's lookbook, I should make it with actually all the samples of things I have. So then I can look through it and see all the lace I have. And all the trims I have, and you know, when I want to yeah, look for something. Yeah. <clears throat> if you have things in bulk, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right. So this is I think. three. This one's four. For the husband. I better eat all the licorice quick. Yeah. Is he home? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> And this I'm going to take it from me so I don't need it all. So, huh. just send it over here. Let's see if I can do this without moving buttons with the glue. Where's my... I need a pencil, a retractable pencil, <clears throat> that can be a little sharper. That's what I need. Hmm... I'm looking at all these little goodies. I have a bin that I've been throwing stuff in um, as I'm doing this room. And I actually haven't really dug in here tonight to see hmm. what I have. Silly me. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not talking because I'm numbering my buttons and I don't want to no, get them wrong. She's counting. Shh. I'm alphabetting. There. <clears throat> so button card number one only had the wooden buttons on it. Then this is button card number two. Two, and so it says it right up there at top. Button card number two. I thought and, you were still on your first one. <laughs> oh, so then if they look at it, they're all kind of in groupings. Group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they could say, "And I want one B. I want two A, four D, whatever it is." I love it. It's just a simple, simple lay out the buttons, nothing fancy. <clears throat> All right. I got to get these. You're right, Julie. Jar, because I want Julie to said we still, trim. Go ahead. She said we yeah. still collect more than we use. And yeah. I'm thinking if we do this journal right, we can use a whole bunch of it. <laughs> <laughs> or if we make a whole bunch of these journals. Make, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'm going to get through a lot of those little trim scraps and fabric scraps and because I'll be working on this for a minute. It's not something I'm going to have done in a month. Yeah, the other night um, I scraped the chalk right up Margie's back when I picked up a doily and crocheted doily and started cutting it up in front of her. <sighs> I know. What do you mean scrape the chalk right up Margie's back? I've never heard that you know, term. When you, when you scrape the blackboard, and it was oh, just okay. even more than that where it was like right up her back. I know it was. Oh, she doesn't like it when we uh, cut, cut up a doily? Up Not if they're in good condition. <laughs> oh, I'm so Not sorry. If they're, <laughs> if they're already torn I up, then I'm okay. But if they're... <laughs> 
But if they're nice and in good condition, then no. <laughs> I know she gasped for air when I started doing it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I think I want to use a stamp. I've got new stamps I haven't even tried yet. I've got tons of stamps I've never tried. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to have a bunch of close to my heart stamps at Saturday's sale in oh, my chunk of time. Ah, so, you know, that'll be, cool. that'll be cool. All right. So, I think that I will do. I don't think. I don't want to know. I don't know. What do I know? I'll use one of these and do lace or trim maybe both of these because I got a lot of stuff that can go on that. <clears throat> I've even I even pulled out feathers, a variety of feathers to make a feather card. So they could choose what kind okay. of feathers they wanted on their hat or dress embellishment. I don't really have a variety of feathers. <clears throat> I do have some feathers. But... I want send you feathers. Uh I think we talked about it, but I don't remember you sending me some. <clears throat> you just carry my feather bag. I would have to look. I haven't been in my feather bag in ages, so mm -hmm. it's not something I use very often. <laughs> you know. Yep, me either. I'm excited but about I the opportunity like to use them more. Yeah, like more than I do. Yeah, I like the idea of using them in this journal yeah. yeah i pulled out a variety of sizes and colors yes don't eat my paper darn it <laughs> no go see your dad go see him <laughs> i know he's home go see him you go find him <laughs> that's yeah. right i'm gonna figure one of these girls i'm gonna use now maybe the pink. Um. Maybe. Sorry about my arm. <laughs> Eight, mahogany. Okay. Purple. I got um pink and I haven't used it yet. I did make a label for it. It's worn lipstick. Mm. Nice. Uh, they were out of the Victorian velvet. That's why. Yeah, I love Victorian mm. velvet. Let me see. Holiday now. No, I don't like it. I think I'm going to use purple. I think I want purple. I have like three new inks I haven't used yet. Yeah. Sadly. Just because I haven't been able to make anything. Uh, my Not with my room in disarray. It drives me crazy to me work too. in a room that's all, you know, crazy. Um, and especially if I can't find anything. So, um, I think I'm going to do this. Lucy, you started sending some of your sister's yeah. stuff on garage sales lately, like the local garage sales. Can't believe how I get pings while I'm still listing stuff. Some people just must sit on the site. Yeah, that is true. Um, what, does your sister have a whole bunch of uh, crafting stuff that you're um, selling? Yeah, mayhem, get out of stuff. Is that um, is that the situation, Lucy? Find a button that's too pretty to use. Oh, yeah, there are those. Oh, old paper. Um, Lucy, do you want to sell in a market? So you've got all of us as a captive audience that you know like stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to use this either. This is all I have of it. But look how pretty. Look how pretty this is. This is just gorgeous stuff. It's super thick and soft and it's like embroidered lace. Oh, it's beautiful. 
It really is. It's more it's more like an applique. Yeah, but I've got like a, maybe 14 inches of it. Huh. Cut it. I can okay. I mean, I would cut it individual and? as appliques. But yeah, I just Oh, I just dropped the baggie I was looking through. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this other than I wanted to use my new ink and a new stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use it, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a new black one. I haven't, I haven't even opened it. Where did it go? What did I do with it? I swear I just had it out. Wow. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Well, these little flowers. It really is pretty, isn't it, Laura? You cut it in threes, so you probably... Yeah, I could totally see mm -hmm. that. So... What in the world did I do like with Like strips, that? and then each one can be cut into individuals. Lipstick. Oh, my gosh. It's sitting on top. <laughs> well, Lucy, if, Lucy, if you're interested, um, just private message me, because it might be super easy to... Um, get you set up enough to be able to do that just for a market you could probably sure show and move a whole lot more stuff a lot quicker and we'd be happy to help you okay let's see we got some, got some here there i used two new inks and a new stamp nice i didn't even order those all at once i it's been that long since i've been able to make something I used to make things every day in my room in uh, Stripe Ooh, City. Laura thinks you make, oh, garage sale, a virtual garage sale. What? Huh. Well, and I forget, Lucy, I forget that you're in Canada, too, which makes it more difficult to do the market because of the shipping. Garage sale. It's a local thing, like a virtual garage sale. Is it like um, how we have the garage sale groups on Facebook? We have a lot of those locally. I need to get some fray check. <clears throat> For fabric, the fray yeah. edges. Yeah, yeah. I I have to extra, but yeah, I'll have to find it on Etsy and I'm at Etsy Amazon and get it and then put an affiliate link in. Um, I don't know which one I'm using yet. I want to use a little one or a circle girl, or maybe we just put buttons on this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe it's a button one. I got some pieces of sari here I could use. Yeah. Or maybe her. She can add really nice. All right, I'm gonna pull all these out. <clears throat> some little bits and pieces. Pieces, pieces. Not like Facebook, it's its own site. That's kind of cool. Okay. So should I put all the white lace or trims on one card and then put black and brown or Color. It depends how many colored I have. Put all the colored on its own and all the black and brown on its own. <clears throat> okay, there's some colors. Let's see. So, 
So would you put this in with white or would you put it in colored because it's white with a pink ribbon on it? <laughs> what would y'all vote for? With white. With white. That's where I just set it down. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that one's pink. Oh, I've got quite a bit of creams too. I might do a white card and a cream card. Okay, I'm starting to move slower. Are you? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Getting tired? Yeah, my day is catching up. Yeah. <laughs> my week? Yeah. I just want to get done, so I'm just trying to rush, rush and, her, you know, get, right. get through it. What's the rush to get done? So I can use my room. Oh, oh, done with that. I, I thought you were talking about done freedom. Right now. Oh, I no, no. Yeah. No. So I can feel the freedom oh. and use my room, you know, like. Yeah, I totally get that. that. I'm in the same place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. Yep. Ah. It's difficult to function with everything. Yeah. Who knows where. Yep. Oh my gosh. Um, somebody's knocking something over in Bill's drone room. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing it has whispers. Somebody not table. Bill. <laughs> somebody not Bill is knocking something over in Bill's room. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you better stop it. <laughs> They're like, uh, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> uh, that was really threatening. Well, it was for the smallest of the three, so I don't oh, really threaten. Percy? She doesn't mind anyway. I mean, you know. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> she doesn't. The other two might sometimes. Mine. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. A little bit now and then if they feel like it mm-hmm that's right just a little bit yeah all right I think this one's going to get a uh, tag treatment I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it into a tag Ooh, I forgot about this. This is beautiful. One. Just digging through scraps here, you know. Yep. I went through my bit bucket earlier and just pulled out mm -hmm. lots of scraps of lace and trim. Yeah. Well, I have too many bit buckets right now, and I've been shoving everything in this one area, so I'm Mm -hmm. trying i mean the last the last couple weeks you know so i'm just yeah. really trying to get through through that and uh i still have to do a bit of a bit of extra sorting and organizing mm. oh margie you laughing at us again <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh at me anytime you want. <laughs> yeah. Happy Only to my face, though. <laughs> if nothing else, if we can make Margie laugh, it's been a successful night. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, maybe so, I will see. I have an earworm in my head again, Margie. I should tell you so you can get it in your head. <laughs> she always gets earworms in my head. It's
it's her turn, right? Mm-hmm. But I cut one off. Superman, the theme to Superman, just round and round and round it goes. In my head. Why nobody knows. I don't think I know the theme to Superman. I don't know what this is. I think it's Superman. I know Batman. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it's Star Wars. <laughs> Okay. She is clearly I'm, not a nerd, guys. <laughs> well, I, I've watched them all. Um, just been so but if long you since can't, you can't go offhand. Star Wars. <laughs> okay, well, how does the theme to Star Wars go? Uh, which one? Like the Imperial March, or well, just like the main original. Um, you know. Oh, yeah. It's not Star Wars. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, I'm a nerd. <laughs> That's probably, probably Superman. Is that Superman? Okay. Was that Superman? I don't know. I, I can't. I, that's why I was saying I don't know I think what it's Superman sounds like, but I that sounds right. I do think that's Superman. I didn't think it was Star Wars, and then all of a sudden I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> but yeah, no. Yep, Margie said, yep, Superman. <laughs> Lucy thinks so. Now Glennis has Batman TV theme stuck in her head. <laughs> uh, right. awesome. Oh, I was going to make him take the licorice, and he never even came in here. You were going to make him take the licorice? So I didn't eat it all. Well, go over and put it in one of those containers and shut the lid. <laughs> I know where it's at if I do it. That's yeah, a problem. You're not going to keep getting up and walking across the room while we're doing this to get one. You don't know me. <laughs> you do not know me. You do not judge me. <laughs> um, yes, Missy, I do know you. <laughs> you do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know, while we're doing this, you might get one while you're over there getting something else, but you won't get up and keep walking over there to get a piece of licorice in the middle of this. If I want it bad enough, I will. <laughs> yeah, but if you want it bad enough, then you better just go eat it. So then, you know, mm -hmm. if you're willing to get up there and walk over there to get one, then then you need to eat it. <laughs> I am eating it. That's the problem. <laughs> that um, right now. I would help you eat it if I was there. Mm -hmm. not. So you're a good friend. <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> I'm a good friend. I'd help you get through that bag. <laughs> Help me eat my licorice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Indeedy. All right. Right in the middle of... Um, no, that doesn't matter. stuck in my head. Margie, what? did you... Did Margie put that earworm in my head? Superman, it's just there. It's just stuck. Like, literally. Oh, stuck. Okay. Literally stuck. I thought you cussed. Oh, no. What? <laughs> yeah, oh, I did. <laughs> didn't say that word. I wouldn't think so. That's why I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Darren does a double take. What? Uh, all right. That. Now, okay, so here's Lay's card. I'm going to think that one's going to have to go off the edge because it's just too big. And, all right. I hate getting into a whole roll of ribbon. 
or a whole, these aren't whole rolls, actually. I mean, I have bins of rolls, but I hate starting a new one or one that I've wound up because I don't want to, Mm -hmm. I've got so many other short little scraps. That's the thing. (sighs) But I want the color I want. If so, there's no scraps there, then what are you supposed to do? Right. Yeah, I want I want the color I want. That's the problem. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um it's not a bird, not a plane. <laughs> Sitar Wars is also my thing. I have a big collection since 70. Really? Nuts and a kid at heart. No, that's Star Wars. Yeah, Superman had no song. Glennis asked the hubby. Really? Well, didn't I mean the the show, the movie, the movie? Not as Superman. It's like Superman didn't have a song, but there is a theme that plays in the movie, right? There must be. Um. Not no 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 Batman says instrumental only for for Superman, right? Glennis was it the one I was just singing and it's instrumental only. I'm indecisive now. Star I don't like it. Or is that what Star Wars? Oh, I don't know. They're having a they're having a geek conversation and can't just jump in the middle of it. We used to watch all of them um, a lot. I, I just haven't watched anything in a long time. So I'm not completely illiterate, just have forgotten a lot. Well, it doesn't make you illiterate if you're not, well, I mean, if you know, illiterate in, illiterate in Star yeah. Wars or, yeah. or yeah. The, the geek shows. Now, I could probably tell you more about Iron Man than anything, because that's Doug's favorite. And so the one that we end up watching over and over and over and over, Iron Man. Well, Bill is Batman, so. Margie went back to that (laughs) stupid screen, and she's not restarting the computer again. So good night. Well, good night, night, Margie. Margie. Aw, Margie. Will you have a wonderful night? (laughs) I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poop, Margie. We we all would like for you to stick around. <laughs> Does that um, screen just completely ruin it? Like, not even worth... What do you mean by screen? Her, her screen keeps changing to something funky that she doesn't like. Oh, A format or something. All right, figuring out how to put these laces on here. Lace samples. This um, is just a to use all your favorite little teeny tiny bits. So this and one, you know, but, kind of so yeah, what I'm seeing here is that this would make a good waterfall because there's not room on a card this size to put all these little bits and be able to see them. And you have to put your samples so that your client can see them or... You know, they're no good. Well, it came back. Just wish well, I knew it was having it. <laughs> Thor. You could, I mean, you um, can do it any way you want. You don't Lucy have to. said she was thinking about the original Superman, and it was instrumental, and it was the one I was singing. And that's what I thought it was, was just the original Superman movie. Uh, uh, so she's hanging around for a while. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Margie, Margie, we need you here. You're uh, uh, an, a very important part of the uh, uh, humor um, uh, <laughs> level on, on the page there. You're, you're, you know, you make everybody laugh and you're sarcastic. Um, you need that. Uh, so if I do like this... If I did the, let's see, if I did these kind of waterfallish and only, well, not all of them can, if I only glue the top down so you could lift it up to see the next one, but not all of them are. Mayhem, get out of my chair spot. He's like in my way now. Oh. He's where my chair rolls. 
because uh -huh. I rolled over to my ribbon for a second. That's funny. Yeah, um, real funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's in my way. Uh, I can't push my chair in. Go my He's hand. Telling me to stop, <laughs> apparently. <Yeah. laughs> like, Mama, it is time to pay us some attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's over here like, what about me? <laughs> what about you, kid? <laughs> He's got his butt under my desk, like up against my wheels. Glennis Thor is hood looking too. <laughs> Let me what? It says I want some more, and God bless Stanley. Uh -huh. uh, Glennis was trying oh, to say yeah. Thor is good looking too, and she says Thor is hood looking. He's a hood. he is pretty hood. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> pretty hood. Hey, party hood. Pretty hood. Yeah. All right. So which of these is the front? I'm going to say that's the front. Maybe that just goes right across the top. Maybe. So I'm doing my sample here in the tag topper so the variety that's found in the dress might be in the tag in the top what yeah <laughs> so okay sorry. so the variety of i i did a, a three different ribbons here um right. i'm gonna put a hole in in the top of this and right. i'm gonna tie these here and the variety that's on here are things that could be in the dress so oh, okay that's another way to showcase some yep. elements yep that is true i think those ones did i darn it okay so I need one more. That one. I'll just bump them all. Just bump them all, move them all. That's what I did. Okay. Oh. And these are not fitting. Not fitting. It'd be a whole lot easier to sew these on. Not have to worry about the glue stuff. So who is um uh creating along with us tonight? I'm curious. Who's making anything at all, even if it's not this? And I was trying a another light. I don't know how it's working. Well, first of all, I'm not even on the screen. I'm over here working away and I'm not even on the screen. So I can't see how it's working. <laughs> and I'm clearly paying attention because I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm really slowly focused on this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> finding the elements and using the elements and mm -hmm. trying to come up with different ways to use them and do a variety. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, I put, I got a couple different lights to try out and, and then forgot to look at it to see. It is a little bright. It's a little oh, bit, a bit bright. It's almost, uh, when you it's put your white. arm in front of your light right there, yeah, it's almost white. It's almost washing it out. What do you think, guys? Yeah. I do you, you guys see that, too? Yeah. And let's see. How about that? She's marking it a back to gripe about YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Colors are coming out great. It's purple. Ooh, Judy's dyeing laces with cabbage. Oh, good. Yeah, um, that's exciting. I can't wait to see what that looks like. What color do they come out? Is it purple cabbage? Yeah, but they don't come out purple, do they? Are they? Uh, oh, man, it's been a long time. What is cabbage? Does it come out pink? Judy? 
purple cabbage, but I want to say it's, I want to say it's, no, let's see, avocado, you get pink. Um, uh -huh. Deets also make blue, a nice pink. Blue, blue, uh, okay. Cabbage? I'm just not remembering. Yeah, it's, that's it's, what it's purple, right? Purple cabbage, you're going to get blue. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Not very many blue things in nature. All right. I think it's just hard to see this white lace on the card altogether. So I'm just going to have to do what I do here. And... I make it. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm over here talking to myself. I'm yeah. talking to the, the to the tool here. Isn't that what we usually do? Yeah, All it's right. just usually a um, YouTube audience for it. <laughs> I'm going to start gluing down lace. I think the lace is white <laughs> against this card. It just is really hard to see it. Because if I pick it up off the card, now that you can see the white lace, I think. At least I can on StreamYard. How far is YouTube back? I'm on live. Wow. A huge delay. Mine yeah. is anyway. <clears throat> Mine is too. I think YouTube is having trouble tonight. And that's probably why Margie's having issues too. Why Margie's so frustrated. Uh, Margie uh -huh. just a piece of cheesecake or lemon meringue pie. She's got both for Easter. Uh, I class. want lemon meringue pie. I love that too. I don't. I told her it's gross. Really? Oh, so gross. Or so gross. So good. <laughs> I was yeah. hearing you and thinking, uh -huh. yum. <laughs> I don't like I don't like meringue. I don't oh, I picked that part off. I just like the lemon. <laughs> yes, no, I'm is. serious. Black beans give a really nice blue. Ooh. Got the blue turquoise and pink. No purple even added food color. Use baking soda to get turquoise and vinegar to get the pink. Depends on the different laces. Okay. So. Really? Baking soda. <sighs> um, so if you use purple cabbage and use baking soda with it. Or use purple cabbage and use vinegar with it. Uh, yeah. Margie's going to get her lemon meringue pie right now. Well, I you just time. enjoy it, Miss Margie. <laughs> Everyone refresh your YouTube while Margie's gone. <laughs> I like whipped cream. Yes, Lucy, I'm with you. Whipped cream on lemon meringue pie. No meringue. Just remove the meringue. Just whipped cream. I've done that. I just eat the lemon. So I just, just like I love pie. lemon bars. Oh, I love lemon bars. It's just bars. lemon pie with, with whipped cream on it. <laughs> yeah. It I, I, just don't like, it I don't like cream. the meringue. I've never been a meringue fan. Uh, I like the crunchy baked meringues. Ugh. The little almost no calorie yum yum crunchy things that come in the bakery. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. Um, but I didn't discover I liked those until a couple years ago. Huh. I don't know. All right. Let's see here. Uh, so to get all these through, you guys know my trick here. I'm using a wire that I took out of the edge of a ribbon. So it's about, it's about two inches long. I'm poking it through the hole. I'm having a, so it has like a threader right here. And then I'm going to put all these through this top. But um, I think I'm just going to tie them instead of looping them. Because there's three. So it's not too thick. So let's see. So it's like the a giant eye of a needle. I always try to keep a wire on my desk to do this with, but then I always lose it. Yeah. <laughs> so 
so have to make a new one every time. Yeah, you just need yeah. something that's magnetic, and so the wire can just stick to it. Yeah, I could, but you know that would take brains. And I do keep a magnet ball in the metal dish next to me mm -hmm. because um, what am I? No, 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 no. I want this um, because I have all my I have magnets stuck to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, uh, paper clips and things. I'm sorry. I'm focusing. I have what magnets stuck to my magnet. That's right. Why don't you right. stick it to that? To the magnet ball. <laughs> I don't know. Because there's, it's, oh, it's okay, covered well. with paper clips and stuff. I would lo still lose it. I'm with you, Laura. It's I don't like the texture of either of those. But I'll, Kendall, I'm with you on Reese's. <laughs> you know what's better? Reese's peanut butter pie. Hmm. My grandma used to make peanut butter pie. I like French silk pie. Mm, yes. You know, I'm going to have to go have sugar for dinner if we keep it up. <laughs> I, I kind of just did have sugar for dinner with bag of licorice. So. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> have more. Um. I actually um, was really proud of myself because I had that headache and I wanted to take ibuprofen and stuff and I knew I should eat. Mm -hmm. um, last night I made crab salad sandwiches for dinner. So oh, good. Oh, yeah. That, that, um, is, so, that does sound Yeah. Good. So we had some leftover and that's what I, come on. I've got all these little loose strands here. There's oh. like gold threads in the um, one of these ties and they keep mm -hmm. getting caught up. Right. Oh, there we go. So, um, yeah, I was just going to tell you guys something and I totally left my mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm there too. My brain isn't working. It's clear. <laughs> what? what in the my world? My brain at time. <laughs> No idea. What what was I even thinking? What was I thinking? There. About? Let me think. What was I thinking about? Might take me back to what I was going to tell you. <laughs> uh, um, Back down a little bit more. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. It makes me laugh, but then I can't concentrate and focus on to remember what it was I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I was going to dig out that magnet ball and show you what I mean here. Oh, it's just thank you. It was about magnets. <laughs> um, the best thing in the world is you can get them at Harbor Freight for a couple of bucks. Um, is mechanics have these just little telescoping bars yeah yeah and they're magnetic on the end and uh -huh. they are awesome for when you drop um paper pins. clips and animals but pins needles but dies, <laughs> dies when you're cutting dies and you drop dies wherever down behind something or you know little tiny ones fall um, for just reaching down. Sometimes it's just, they're so flat and I don't have any fingernails right now and I can't get them up off the floor because they're flat. But um, yeah, that will pick them right up. The metal ones anyway, pick up metal dies off the floor really nicely. Oh, I meant to mention that. You know, I always have long nails. I broke four nails doing, doing the furniture in the last so couple days. Almond chocolate bar. Glenn is your killing I me. <laughs> more sugar the better sharon <laughs> yes 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 i agree I, I live on a steady diet of sugar that's yeah, all all your pie talk people has discombobulated me <laughs> yeah that's that's the reason guys that's the reason hey <laughs> story. it's my story and i'm sticking to it She's sticking to it <laughs> margie said it so it has to be right <laughs> mm-hmm uh, okay, I'm going to quit there, I think, on that one. See that? Oh, uh, maybe I need to do this real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I'm almost done with my... 
Plenty. white lace card. Doodle. A little doodle will do ya. Yeah. Little dab will do ya. Little doodle will do ya. <laughs> A little doodle of uh, Nouveau Drops. No, uh, this time I have out the um, oh, of, uh, glitter oh, gel pen. Yeah. What Super glittery. What are you doing? I'm uh, just cutting up some of the the details on her, uh, like her the muff that she's uh -huh. got on and uh, her hat. Uh huh. So, because cool. it's kind of this color. Yeah. And the little the little flower on her shoe, a little slipper. And then I got to get a turquoise one because uh, the turquoise feathers and the bow and all that I think need attention. But I don't have a turquoise one here on my desk, so I gotta grab one. Hold on. Dog? Okay. Dad, I gotta I gotta check for animals every time I roll my chair out. Yeah. I feel like Snow Nothing. White all the time. They're always glued to me. Like <laughs> every moment of every waking hour, they are glued to me. I don't understand I, the Snow White connotation a reference. What? I don't what? understand the Snow White. I don't understand the Snow White reference. Oh, the the, the animals. Yeah. Oh, are the yeah, animals, you know, just Snow White? animals all come to her in the forest. You know, I feel oh, like that's Snow White. Right. That's right. Um, I was thinking, but <laughs> even at night when I sleep, and I don't know how this ever happened, and I'd like it to stop, but now it's too late. I have one pressed against my leg. One on my feet, and now a kitten on my stomach. Oh, jeez. I can't even roll over anymore. No wonder you can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's until probably why. Get, until they all right. get a night's sleep and get up and, you know, move around. Yeah. You're not sleeping. So, um, yeah, like, who who's more important that gets a night's sleep around here? Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> so, I ordered a new bed. <laughs> And she is, uh, and it came today, um, right. because she didn't used to s try to sleep on the bed. She mm. had a bed on the floor. And the only reason why Mayhem ever slept on the bed was because that's when I trained him. I, that was when I was really, at first when I was really sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, you know, a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. It was post-surgery. I got him as my little surgery buddy, and I trained him. He wasn't allowed to leave the bed mm -hmm. if I was on it right. unless he went outside and went potty first. So I would right. carry him to the door. So as a puppy, he was like that. That's just how I trained him because mm -hmm. I couldn't move around a lot, you know. So I understand why he wants to be glued to my leg, but now I have three. Mm, you look handsome in your Iron Maiden shirt oh. and your Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. See, Margie accidentally dropped a die in an almost full waste basket. It's true. And a magnet, magnets are lifesavers in a situation like that. Kendall was scrubbing your grill pan and it splattered all over the blinds on the window and she had to clean them off one by one. Then she did it again. <laughs> Just now? <sighs> Oh, I don't know. Uh, she's too busy eating Reese's. Reese's now. It's probably earlier. <laughs> also dropped my keys once and they went down between the porch and the trailer. No way to get them up. See, that oh, telescoping oh. thing would have worked. Put some magnets yeah. in a bag, tied a string to it and pulled them up. Easy peasy. We have some of the telescoping ones, you know, because Bill's a mechanic. So um, we have only a couple of those but yeah uh, that's also a great stocking stuff for, for your husbands ladies if you don't know what to get him that's always a good thing they lose their stuff so that's one of those things yes. jurassic park what i win yeah i we, I'm, we must have missed something way back yeah yeah but i don't My, remember seeing so anything <laughs> you know how we were just Maybe talking about our husband or uh, Star Star Trek and and uh -huh. uh, Star Wars and stuff. Right. Mine, my husband just walked in in Star Wars sweatpants and an really? Iron Maiden T-shirt that he's had for umpteen years. Yeah, That's which it must be laundry day because he never looks that cute. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I mean, so like, cute. I mean, those are not things he wears very often. Right. Yeah, unless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Water, yeah. He looked adorable. Aw. I forgot. He's adorable. Aw. <laughs> All right. I think. I think oh, I didn't see that one, one yet. One. Well, let me round off these corners. Ouch. Yep. Let me round off back handspring these corners. <laughs> back handspring? <laughs> Sorry. Well, were you ever in gymnastics? Uh, no. Me either. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I could spot somebody and I could teach them how to do a round off back handspring in a minute. <laughs> and that was a big thing when I was in junior high is everybody wanted to do a round off back handspring. <laughs> so. Oh and really? So when, yeah. When I said I want to, I want to round off these corners. It just made me think of round off back handspring. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, my brain must be tired. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's drunk. <laughs> I think it happens every Saturday night because we push ourselves, and then we come in and and we do like a crafty marathon. And for hours and hours, and by the time we're done, we're delirious. Right? I mean, it's pretty common. We do yeah, it all the time. Except it's really not that long. For If we go from six to ten, that's only four hours. Yeah. Well, it's just, <laughs> if you look at our average time, I think, I think four hours is on the low end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just that usually we've been working all day on top of it. So. Right. <laughs> You're, you're already dead before you get here. Yeah. Which we, that's why we'd like to get these rooms together so that we don't get have done. To yeah. that. But every other week, I'm doing a sale all day beforehand and all night the night before. So, um, but you know, and I just I want to do it right need the I room, you know. Wind. So I'm really, yeah. I always get second wind when I get here with you guys. I, it just always energizes me, invigorates me. Okay, guys, there it is. I still went in with the Nouveau drops. Did you? All and right, I yeah, do. I love this. I think it's my favorite one so far. I like Nouveau drops. I need a piece. What What do I want a piece of to do this? I'm so um, glad that we all get to be delirious together, though. I mean, yeah. honestly. Under, I'm so glad that they understand our delirium. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure they do it, too. <laughs> right He's looking for the right piece of oh i didn't even use that one oh, no room for it now. We were, oh uh kendall said we we work we cook we clean we craft we rock we are women yes exactly. this is true that's exactly or uh we work we cook we clean we rock we women hear us roar <laughs> women <laughs> thank you julie <laughs> did they have staplers back then uh no i would say not they probably sewed everything yeah like but, if they it doesn't matter though put a staple on it throw a button over the top of it or a hunk of lace or well, do that yeah i want to staple this lace on oh do i even know where my stapler is good grief marianne well if i just glue it on then I can put a button over it, the same as stapling it and putting a button putting a button over it, right? Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah, all right. You can do anything you want. It's your book. That's right. And it's I mean, they're junk journals, so I mean, there's there's well, that's sure. It's what we do. Decide, do we want that? Nope, I want it all behind. All right, all right. I got one last thing to do to this card, and then I'm going to call this white lace card done. Uh, let's see here. So I have this uh, paper, this 12 by 12 sort of, or 12 by 14 plastic uh, flat bin next to me. Mm -hmm. And I've been throwing things in it that go with this journal. Okay. And then I 
also have uh, another project bin that's like a plastic shoebox. And right. I've been, as I'm coming across it, I'm putting little bits of um, fabric and uh, fibery sort of stuff in that one. And then I have a couple other smaller bins like this one. And as I'm going through stuff, I'm finding like, okay, this is one of the things that I never finished. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's got a mm -hmm. dress form on right there. And it's uh, like multi, I mean, I think we started this on a, on a live. Anyway, um, are those pockets? No. And anyway, I thought, well, that's perfect to go with this because it's got uh, embroidery, a, a thing I, cop I dyed or um, copied and it's it embroidered. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the form on it. So it's really perfect and it matches. Mm -hmm. So things like that I'm pulling out and I'm throwing in that bin also. Um, mm -hmm. As I'm doing my room. And I don't know if anybody else has gathered things to go with this. And this is not something I'm going to speed through because that's just not my, that's not how I, how I do. Um, this is something I will. I, I like a lot of elements and I will probably be working on this for a few months. So I'm just, you know, as I'm coming across things, I'm just throwing them in the, in the bin. I will keep adding to it too. I just don't want to do it every night. I mean, every Saturday no, night, no, no. but I want to come back to it maybe and do, you know, some different. Yeah. Uh, it's something that I'm going to continuously work on it and on my own. Right. I just haven't had a chance to work on it on my own yet. Yeah, well, yeah, when we have a chance, we can do that and then post in the group what we make. Um, Kendall, you are right. They pinned it in the uh -huh. journal, the dairy journal. Yeah, that was a cool journal. That had more pins. Those pins were over 100 years old. They were like 125 years old. And it just safety pinned all these newspaper articles and things in, directly into the ledger it was pretty awesome and i just left them all there and it's cool because the pins back then were steel pins i can't decide mm -hmm. what else this needs flowers okay. maybe also flowers this one is done this one is done i think so let's see here i can see that that light is kind of bugging that so let's see if that makes a difference no, that's wow. That just washes it out, and huh, I'm really gonna have to work with this light and find out what what will work because it is not all right. So I glued all the lace on. Yeah, now it's just totally washing out. I'm bugging me to death. Oh, try turning that one off. Maybe I'm getting too much reflection. Let's see if this is better. This might be a little bit better. Okay. Is that better? All right. So I did, I just wanted to put a lace um, pole on the top of the card. And then I put all the, this is the white lace card. I put That's all beautiful. the laces, um, waterfall, st waterfall style. Thank you for the idea. Um, so that it's just glued across the top so you can lift each one to see the one underneath it fully. It's and really beautiful. A little one down there and yeah, a couple small ones over there. And yeah, I kind of like that one. It's really pretty. Isn't that okay. Yeah. Um, but I need to do some, some things different. So I've got enough here to do like one that's black and brown uh, I probably have enough to even do a beige one or cream, beige and cream by itself. If not, then that could be with the black. But, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a long. I want to so see these elements well enough. I'm going to go back down here and see if that is too light. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this light, but I'm going to have to play with different. Maybe it's close. Hmm? Maybe it's too close and that's why it's washing out. Well, it's um, like too bright, too close. Yeah, it's just weird. I turned it straight up to the ceiling and just reflecting off the white ceiling and back down washed it out. It was weird. 
Huh. Okay, so let me get all the cream colored ones that would be. Hmm. That will go with decorations. There's pink and purple and peach and blue and gold and red. And let's close that for a minute. That white one goes back in there. Pink one can go back in there. There's black and brown. Um, so... The beige could all be, the cream could all be one. And let's see, black and, uh -uh. and gold maybe. Because then over here we could do pink and peach and purple. I've got these flowers that uh, are printed, they're from a card, but they look embroidered. And oh. they're some of the ones that my grandma cut out that I got that she had really? collected you know, from cards. Did I send you any of those? No. I had I had some of those. In fact, we had them at a sale. Um, you mean embroidered? Them? Yeah, they are they were vintage. I wonder, oh. I can't see your thing, but I wonder if they were like the same. It's like, where it's really flowers are Flowers on the card, but it you look close at it, and we don't have to look close. It's embroidered. It looks embroidered. The picture is embroidered. It's really cool. Um, these grandma cut out, so I, oh, I mean, I cool. didn't mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's even better. Okay. Let's see. Look at this big, long one. I don't know if I should put the whole thing on. I'm thinking about maybe just cutting it off right there and just putting that portion on. But it's like a big, long lace. Oh, but that's beautiful. I, that, it is. If I did that, I could just put it like with the appliques. I'm so bad about hoarding lace. I'm like, no, I don't want to use the whole piece. So I'm going to cut oh, it in nine pieces. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's so hey, pretty. Gwyneth, I have... Look at that uh, one. 1800s morning brooch. It's a morning oh. um, um, uh, cameo and That's morning cool. as in her husband died. And oh, the goodness. all of it is black. Um, and that's Ooh. what they would have worn in morning. And it is a morning. That's what it's called is a morning brooch. Isn't that crazy? Sorry. I was reading Glennis's oh, comment. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I've had it for sale, and I had somebody that wanted to buy it, and then she dropped off and never contacted me. So I never reposted it. I just, you know, life got busy. It was last year at some point. Right. These look like pressed flowers. Those are cool. Kindle, I'm um, glad you found us. <laughs> What's that? I said, Kendall, I'm glad you found us. She, she said she's glad she found us. <laughs> I'm glad, too. Thank you. And, Julie, what do you mean I let you off the hook? By saying that you're going to be working on this a while. Now she doesn't feel like she has to oh, hurry and yeah. finish this weekend. <laughs> Don't worry, Julie. I'll be working at them for a while, too. This is not a quick project If with all the thoughts and ideas that we had about what to do with it. Yeah, and why rush? I mean, this is a project we're doing together, so it's it's meant to be part of our creative fun time on some Saturdays. So, yeah, it's both relaxing and you know a group project. Oh, Julie, yeah. you like the button? That was the point, right, Marianne? It was it was yep. meant to be a group project, exactly. and you know something we could all work on. Yeah. Yeah, Julie, that those was, buttons are awesome. Those buttons are awesome. Let me see. Great selection. 
And those little crocheted flowers are going to be really great, too. Uh, okay, let's see, Glynis. Um, I was going to show you hers, and then I totally forgot. Sorry, Glynis. You can tell where my brain is. What was it I just dropped? Let's see. I'm going to get in here and get Glynis's pictures. Glynis is such a speedy Gonzalez. She always has about five done to my one. <laughs> always. I'm just, I'm, I'm a slow crafter and I'm okay with that. I know that's my style. That's okay. Oh, I'm going to use pretty. Those are pretty. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me go full screen so you can see Glynis. Okay. There we go. And um, let's see. Let me turn up my um, light on my phone and see if that helps at all. Um, hang on a minute. I'm still messing with these other lights. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and see if this will. I've turned off all the lights around me, but the light on my phone wow. is too bright. It's not. Whoops. The light on my phone is too high. It's washing it out from behind. So. Yeah. Hang on, we'll get it. All right, here we go. Still, it's still doing it. It's not your phone. No, I know it's coming. It is. It's. Uh, I had to make several changes. There we go. Yep. That's oh, really cute. Cool. Yeah. Okay. What are they on? Okay, look at this one. That's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, cards. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. You guys know we can also make garter belts and chokers that'll look similar, yeah. but yeah. yeah, it would be fun. Costume well, stuff. Oh, the you lace know. one is covering both Very sides. Cute. And then those are dried flowers that she framed. <clears throat> Very cute. Yeah. I Yeah, I have some that look like dried flowers here. I also had, you know, the embroidery and the dried flowers and the lace flowers are the perfect ones, really. Um, but I think that's enough flowers. Well, Glennis, thanks uh, for yeah. telling Kendall about this group. Yeah. Glennis and her minions. <laughs> love minions. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, love minions. And I know Glennis loves minions. <laughs> so, will you like minions too? Thanks for sharing, Glennis. That was great. Yeah, so I have to show you what I found today as I was moving some things around here. Look what I found today. Waiting on the delay. Uh, there we go. Oh, minions. <laughs> minion stickers. <laughs> Of course, I thought of Glynis. Kendall, are you into minions too? I like. Are minions. you sending them to her? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, they're going to go into the minion journal kit, and she gets. First oh. Gift. But there's more than one. I have. I. I seriously have enough minion stuff to make a full journal kit. Are you serious? I don't, I don't have any minion stuff, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I like minions. I think they're cute. I like not that minion. I no, it's not that I dislike minions. Yeah. I would just, you know, I just don't. Yeah. I I just can't see making a minion journal for myself. Oh well, then it's not your thing. Yeah. But my Glennis's. It's, yeah, but it's but it's Glennis's. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's okay. Right. More minions for her. That's true. That is very yep. true. Um, just like I'm, I'm super grungy and. Uh, even sometimes masculine with stuff. And this is very girly for me here, but, uh, uh, and that's yeah. definitely not everybody else's cup of tea. I also like paint and, you know, like I like to splatter and do abstract uh -huh. artwork in the background and, you but know, add whatever. Um, I've never known a maker a creator who only did one thing. We all right. like more than one thing. It's just, Right. It's just the nature of being a maker. 
and we I also strive to learn every thing I come across, like every yeah. kind of craft mm -hmm. or art or that's just that's just my you know, and I think that's a lot of doing. people do the same thing. Yeah, it's just what we enjoy doing. See something yeah. new, you want to try it. And you got to try right. it to find where you'll really like it or, you know, right. something you've tried once and move on. Or if it's something that you really want to stick with. Right. All right. Let's see. This is the weirdest piece of lace trim, but. Purple. I need purple. My knee hurts. I'm holding it wrong, I guess. Your knee hurts? Yeah, I kind of have it curled up under my... I'm I'm not being kind to it the last couple days. Uh, yeah. I haven't had it up enough, and I've, you know... Mm -hmm. um, I had it curled under my chair just now, and I didn't realize I was doing that. Oh, yeah, that's... that. Your, your knee you just had surgery on? Yeah. Oh, that's not being <laughs> nice to it. No, Aaron, you're supposed to pay attention to it and oh, give it a well, chance. I, I'm focusing Girl. on something else, and you know we focus on something else and we forget, yes. and and we don't realize we're because we're focusing. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do that. I can concentrate on something else and 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 hurt myself. I don't know about y'all. Oh my goodness. Do you hurt yourself the same way because uh, you're no. focused on something else so hard? No, I don't usually hurt myself. <laughs> what a lot. Oh, bad about that. Why would you hurt yourself? That's I don't mean to. I'm just going to sing me. That is going to hurt your knee. Like one here, right? Huh? I, I can't be the only one that does that, that doesn't notice that I'm in pain because I'm focusing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I've had too many pains that it doesn't take that long and then the pain's yeah. big enough to notice. Um, I haven't had a chance to create anything since last Saturday, and I've really been itching to, for this tonight and I I guess I'm that's what I'm focusing on Me too. All it's this. even longer than Saturday and so uh, yeah it's, I just had to play with alcohol inks for a minute today because that's all I had was a minute and I just was dying <laughs> well I've eliminated my paper cart I haven't quite figured out where everything goes but I was really boxed in with a big paper cart next to me uh -huh. and uh, that's what I was working on today is, and and uh, getting more because I had packed up a bunch of the room to move furniture mm -hmm. uh, getting more of that taken care of that's what I've been doing cool yeah that feels good. one of the things I did today was create one whole entire shelf in my long closet for Minte papers and Pion papers. They now have their own shelf. That's a thing. And they are organized by line in their own paper holders. Yeah, so Sharon does, um, Glennis doesn't put minions on every page, but lots of yellow. Oh, I've seen the minion journals online. They're great. Margie, I only do cats and Alice and mermaids and well, okay. I like a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kendall, I guess that's probably it. I'm always in pain. Child with mental issues, bath arthritis. Sometimes it just totally sucks, but yep. Always I learned how to tune out. It's all. I, yeah, I just can't really yeah. do those things that cause more pain because I'm already always in pain, so I'm always aware of it. Yeah, I just, I learned to tune a lot of stuff out, though. 
Well, I, I do that. I have a high pain tolerance, but, um, or maybe it's just because like sitting like that, like you are, I haven't been able to do that for so long because hip replacements, knee replacements, you know, my knees don't even bend like that anymore. It was just one of them. I don't think I could do both of them. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. That's enough sparkle. Look at me <laughs> with pink and glitter. And I've lost my mind. Wow. I even used a rhinestone. I never use rhinestones. You used a rhinestone? I did. Didn't you see this? This is my I favorite know. one. I'm just one second. I'm in the middle of gluing. I know I'm not on camera, but I'm in the middle of gluing. Oh, I Glenn, if that makes sense, Fussy Cut and takes her pain away. She absolutely knows how to, like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Out That's why she spent and, so hours doing it. The arthritis yes. in her hands. Yeah. Inks, paper, and a creative mind, which can save you. In the yes. That's exactly it, Kendall. That's exactly it. When things are the worst, grab the art supplies. <laughs> yep. Um, Julie says, Hey, we could make a little needle storage booklet. Yes. Uh, uh, I actually, okay. I made a felt one a couple months ago, four months ago, I guess it and was. There's, and there's, um, uh, one in this kit, in this digi kit that you could take and use it on the outside. If you want glue some felt on the inside, then you can stick the needles into the felt. Um, if you wanted to use the one that she put in there, or you can make it from fabric. Yeah, that's part of my plan, too. Wow, Kendall was a ballerina. In knee replacement last year after too much ballet, it was fun while I was young, but paying the price. Yep, for sure. I'm sorry that you aren't able to dance, you know, ballet anymore. I do understand the knee replacement. I've had both of them replaced. And yeah, it sucks not being able to do. I used to run five to eight miles a day. and I only run if something's chasing me. Not, yeah, I not uh i can't ever run again i can't even kneel on my knees the knee i can't knees. either i'm not yeah i can't do that anymore i can't squat a can cupboard that drives me nuts yeah <laughs> hopefully yeah. i will be able to since i had knee surgery um last month but we'll see or two months ago i guess it's been yeah okay so there's four and i think that's all i have in me for tonight i don't know Probably. I'm almost done with this one. I wanted to use more stamps and ink, but I it didn't end up happening. Um, I just wasn't like driven to that kind of um, activity. Yeah. You know, the cards. Yeah. No. Well, I did do a little stamping on that one mm -hmm. just because I forced myself to. But normally I do a lot of background stamps and a lot of, you know, that's, yeah. I'm always messing with stuff like that, but I just yeah. didn't, it didn't it's hard tell to make me that background. It detracts from the things and then it's hard to see. Them right. and, and well, I let my hands speak to me and it wasn't saying, you know, stamp yeah. on me. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's that one and I got to put this black one on and then I think this card is complete which is the right side that's the right side i believe all right <clears throat> all right i got some acetone to to try to thin out my fabrotac a little bit this is a new bottle and the, when i first opened it it was like oh perfect you know flowed so nice and easily and now i'm like squeezing it as hard as i can to even get it out why and it's still a fairly a really full bottle why does it go so thick so hard so fast i can't even i can't even squeeze it hard enough to keep it coming out more acetate so i brought i did get i did get a thing of acetone actually doug was going to home depot so i said will you pick me up some acetone please they're just whatever smallest container they have he comes home with a gallon can of acetone. He says, this is the smallest one they had. <laughs> it was hilarious. So now I have a gallon can of acetone. Hmm. 
Well, you're right. prepared then. I am. I am prepared for eating, needing acetone. <laughs> now, what are you eating? That's not licorice. It's not. It was a um, a breakfast um, bar thingy, uh, a peanut butter one. Okay. And it's like peanut butter and honey, but it tastes like a nutter butter peanut butter sandwich, like a giant I love one. A nutter butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. I love them. Really? My mom used to buy those for me when I was a kid, and they remind me of my childhood. Ah, another nutter butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. <laughs> I do remember that. Okay, what's the best jingle that you can remember the whole thing? Who remembers the um, Burger King? No, it's the the Big Mac. It's the Big Mac, isn't it? Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed. That's McDonald's. That's McDonald's. Yeah, that's a Big Mac. A McDonald's Big Mac. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Well, who remembers a jingle? What's your favorite jingle that you remember? The whole thing. My Oscar Mayer has a first name. It's O S C A R. Or my, my Baloney Oscar. has a second name. It's May Y E R. <laughs> oh, I love to feed it every day. And if you ask me why I say, because Oscar, Oscar Mayer has a way with B O L O D N A G. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome one. I am looking no. for a piece of paper. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We had a moment there. <laughs> Yours does the same thing. Along. Thing. What do you do to it? What? Um, Lucy, I had, um, you know, being too young, <laughs> I, I mean, too young is relevant. If you're young and you can't move, I couldn't walk. You, then it, is there ever a too young? Um, I had both knee, both hips replaced before I was 50. And yeah, I was running five to eight miles a day when I had my first hip replacement and that was the end of that right there. Um, and then I had my knees done at like 53, 53 and 54, something like that. Yeah. It's, I don't, I don't think age has anything to do with it. It's how bad you're, I had no cartilage left, you know, how bad your joint is, because if you sit around and become completely quite um, dead, yeah, you know, sedentary because you can't move because the pain is too bad. Right. <clears throat> that's worse for yeah. your health than getting it replaced when you're young. Yeah. And the, the thing yeah, is, I is they're improving those every single year. I mean, even the ones they have now are way better than the ones they had last year. It's amazing how much they improve those joints for the replacements just year to year. I love that black lace card. I just saw it. Oh, this one here. You're already done with it. Yeah. I think I might take, um, another black lace and do, um, a poll up here. That would be another, cool. another sample. I've got this you got that. Funky, pretty quick. This. Yeah. That one was pretty quick. Look at this funky, um, stuff i don't even know what it is it's like a piping kind of sort of it's it's black with silver yeah it's soft. yeah i could i could actually take um that and staple that on as the pole and that could be a a trim or lace as well i have more black lace i just i guess i didn't pull it all out I have this one here. I didn't. Um, where's the end? Uh, apparently, Julie likes aeroplane jelly. And Glenna said, a little dab will do ya. <laughs> a little dab will do ya. That was sour cream, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to use this one. It'll be a sample, but it'll also be like a rosette. No, now I'm holding the pin in my mouth like you do, so I can't talk. <laughs> um, pin that back on there. I'm going to take that, I think, and 
I'll glue it there and I'll glue it there. I'll glue that together so it's kind of in thirds and then I'll just attach it here and that'll be the pole. Oh yeah. A ru like a ruffle. Yeah. Kind of sort of. Yeah. But small, yeah. Um cuz that's a whole yeah. other simple piece that I didn't put on there. Yeah, I've got to put some acetone in both my fabric tacks and see if I can I don't, how much do you put in? Like a couple of drops or like a tablespoon? I have who's, no idea. I've never done it. Who's Margie? I know you've done it. What you guys that have done acetone? Tell me how much to put in. Oh, a little dab is br uh, brill cream, apparently. Glennis and Lucy uh, said. Uh, we're thinking a dollop of Daisy. I think. Oh, uh, yeah. That's we'll do a cream. dollop of Daisy. That's that's not the one I was thinking of though. A little dab will do oh. you. Wasn't I thought? Uh, do a dollop of daisy. Oh, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little dab will do you is burl cream. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. All right, maybe I was confusing, uh, combining a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's and what other jingles were they remembering? Oh, Julie said jelly here is jello over there. Okay, so ladies, oh. when she Talking about aeroplane jelly. She's talking uh -huh. about jello. Airplane okay. jello. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, Lucy, are you saying you love sour cream or you hate sour cream? Because a little dab will not do her. <laughs> a little dab will not do me either. I love sour cream. And it's my daughter be, sent me a Snapchat of little, my little grandson little dab. spoon. Sour cream and cream cheese, man. Be the death of me. Okay. How about that? Now it's another sample, but it's also the poll. Cute. You got that one done fast. That was your fastest one yet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even distress it. It kind of needs to be, well, it's already got so much color on it, but there are parts of it that don't have anything that really could use some distressing. Yeah. Nope, I'll I don't know. It. Yeah. Either way. Well, I think there wasn't as many elements on this one either. On I think part. I can't really see clearly with your lighting, so I don't... I. I can't tell if it needs distressed or not. Yeah. I'm, I really have to, I'm really going to have to play with the lighting. I've tried a couple different things, but I'm going to have to try some different configurations this week. Cause it's got to be better by this next weekend. So in fact, I'm going to try one other thing right here. Let's see if that's any better. Yes, already. Really? That's better? Yep. I don't know what okay. you did, but. So there's the black yeah. one. There's the white one. Yeah, there's a God. button card. And here's a, this button card needs a pull, doesn't it? You could put one on the side, too. Over here? So it slides into a side pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's all true. four of mine are very different. I've got a card, mm -hmm. like a fold up, like folded in half little note card. Uh -huh. I've got a, a like a a large journal card that's about the size of a postcard. Mm -hmm. I have a tag shape. Oh, I messed up my nouveau drop, oh. and I have a little mini um, uh, file folder. Cool. <laughs> So cool. I didn't do that on purpose. I just, I mean, I was trying to do them all different, but I didn't think, I didn't do that on purpose with the shapes at least. Oh, right. Just yeah. Doing the style all different to show yeah. all the different ways maybe that could be done throughout the journal. So it's not all the same or, you know. Yeah. I should do the celery yeah. on one of these cards because that would be pretty with the color as it's on the cards. 
These are some good scraps of sari. Hmm. Or maybe yeah, they tie are. them all up and let them all be the uh, dangle off the top. Yeah. As maybe maybe not quite that long, but they could all be a dangle from the top, and that would be samples of sari. And then put the colored trim on this one or other trim. I have, ooh, you know what I also want to do? I pulled these out. Didn't even get to them. So, like, this is pink pearls. And then, you know, I've got white pearls. And bigger pearls. And I have those out, too. I didn't use any. Yeah, and I want to do sure here's some teeny tiny ones. So I wanted to do a card that has um, the pearls from the teeny tiny to the you know a little bit bigger to the bigger, and even the great big giant, which I guess I don't have in here. Oh, here's one. That one would work. Um, those are going to be a lot heavier, so I have to think about how I'm going to do that, what style to use. This is just a necklace of mine that broke. This big one. Well, only the clasp broke, so I could just replace the clasp. See if it was if I used a big one, I would use it on the top of something. Mm -hmm. So or on the side that hung out because it's they're so big that they it would right. be really hard to close your book. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's I mean, this one's big enough. But there's like several different sizes there. Yeah. Okay. So now the lighting looks like it's reflecting off of these bags. Uh, I don't know. Why did it all of a sudden change? A minute ago, it was really good, and I haven't changed anything. I don't know. It is kind of yeah. weird, isn't it? This is going to bug the heck out of me until I get the lighting figured out. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm choking on my own spit here. Don't joke. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I do not know. I, I was choking and I couldn't swallow. That and then he's going to talk at the same time you're trying to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> like I forgot how to breathe. Um, let's see. Uh. Oh my gosh. I have ink on my arm. <laughs> I have it on my hand. I have it on my arm. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. Campbell's soup is mmm, good. Let's see, Julie. Oh. I like aeroplane jelly. Aeroplane jelly for me. I like it for dinner. I like it for tea. A little each day is a good recipe. The quality is high, as the name will imply. It's made from pure fruit as uh, one more good reason why I like aeroplane jelly. Aeroplane jelly for me. Ba-boom. <laughs> That's cute. It kicked me off and cut oh. me and it cut you off for a minute like I couldn't hear you. And then brought you back and in. And I see that I come back. Bob yeah, is music. On YouTube tonight. <laughs> hmm? Something's going on with YouTube tonight. Yeah, I never know. Um, all right. So I pulled out a piece of paper because we are going to draw from the people that are on the list. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to do it this way. I have that. Not the fabric scissors. No. I want the long mixed media scissors. Excuse my reach if it's getting in the camera. All right. So let's see. How many do we have here? We have 12 people watching. Um, okay. If you're here and you had made a comment before about the new logo and group um, header, get in the drawing comment that you are still here so if there's somebody that's been working on stuff and not just not in the chat we'll know if they're still here 
because you have to be here to win, right? That's what you said, Sharon? Uh, I said you don't have to be here to win. Oh, you did? I thought yeah, you said you had to be present to win. Yeah, I, I was saying you didn't have to because some people can't stay for the whole time. Okay. And I get that. I thought you said you had to be present to win. Okay. Well, then. So that Should we have them do a roll call? Um, just if they comment. To, to come in, make a comment, and leave. <laughs> Uh, well, the, what I was thinking is we would have everybody just go to the go to the page and um, comment if they if or go count the the people that commented on the uh, on the new. Um, well, I wrote down all the people that commented when they came. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. And then came back here to chat and commented. Okay. I wrote them down okay. as they commented. Yeah. OK. OK, yeah. good. Okay. Well, you're not gone, Margie. <laughs> still crazy after all these years like, yes, don't no. send me things <laughs> no, it's not still crazy it always will be crazy so there's no still about it <laughs> right <laughs> okay yes. so, uh, let's see Julie's still here and Lucy's still here. Is Judy still here? Bernice, Bernice had to leave. Glennis is still here. Uh, Margie's still here. Barely. She finished her pie, so she's ready to move on. <laughs> Kendall's still here. And Judy's still here. Uh oh. <sighs> and let's see, who else is still here? I'm here. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Did you comment on the <laughs> I don't wait, I don't I don't count anyway. I mean I know, I'm just teasing. <laughs> um let's see. Okay, Judy, Kendall, Margie, Glennis, Lucy, and Julie. Who? Wait a minute! I just put Kendall in there. Where'd she go? Sticking? Are they sticking together? Judy, Kendall. I said it twice. Huh, Margie, Glennis, Lucy, Judy. Who else is still here that I didn't say? Oh, thanks for letting me know I count, Kendall. I appreciate that. I needed to hear that today. <laughs> you do count. You do count. You just want to win the prize. <laughs> uh, let's see. Was there anybody else? I I need to grab a container to put them in. Julie said, she's more, uh, she said, you know what? I'm more enthused to collect than craft today. Yeah, I <laughs> you all that. have those days. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> yep. I do get that. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to fold them all up teeny tiny and throw them in this bag. All right. And you'll have to wait and see what you win. No, I have it here. Oh, do you have it? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It, there was such a time crunch on even coordinating to, to tell you that I did have it. And Yeah, we did talk, but we had lots to talk about. So we, <laughs> we, yeah, we ran that. out of time with all the things on the list. All right. So I'm going to seal this up because... Don't you hate when they put things in a bag and then or a box and then they just bounce it up and down? Everything stays in the same place. It's just bounced up and down. So I'm going to roll them around and next week we'll have one of those bingo wheels. I'm just kidding. Every which, oh, yeah, the bingo wheels are great. Um, I'm going to reach over here and get... So you are going to get to choose something old or something new. So let me draw. Should I show first what they get to choose from or should I draw first? Uh, draw first. Okay. Suspense is always good. 
That's true. Mm -hmm. Of course, if I show them, then there's suspense as to who gets drawn and they have time to think about what they want. huh? <laughs> All right. I need to not drop these while I... Okay. No dropping. No dropping. No dropping. Okay. Can y'all see right here? Yes, yes. Okay. Drum roll. Here it comes. Petunias. Oh, we can't see it. It's Julie. It's what? Julie. It's Julie. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Hi, How Barbara. Are you? Okay. <laughs> so don't anybody leave yet. But uh, Julie, you get to choose something old or something new. I'm going to put it on full screen so I can show this. Oh, yes. This is something old. This book is made of handmade paper. And look at this cool flower up here. That's not real, but it really looks real. It really looks like a dried flower. Okay, That's but this really cool. is made of handmade paper. And even the inside of it. I mean, the whole thing, you can take it apart, dismantle it, use it however you want, make a different cover out of it. But this is this is old. It's not brand new. I got it at an estate sale. And I love this. Look at this. There's even a first page that's handmade paper. It's so cool looking. This is um, a wedding sign-in register. And I don't know whose wedding it was, but it's got some guest name in there which may be fun to use, but there's only a few pages of that. Well, maybe it was that. Five, or six, <laughs> five or six. And then there's a whole bunch of pages that you could Seems to me like a gun divorce. Put them in a mini <laughs> journal where that's where they fold right there. And you got great lined pages to write on. So that's the old, the something old. So you can choose something old or you can choose something new. And the something new is, it's a binder, and it is a garden binder. Home is where my garden is. And I picked this up because I thought all these elements would make a great gardening journal or flower journal. And you could either use the binder or keep it in there, or you could easily take this binder out and then just use the cover. Wouldn't that make a great cover? <laughs> it's so pretty and it's like an inch and a half great thick. For stamps, like stamp or die storage <laughs> with a oh, plastic yeah. leaf. Yeah. But it's got these dividers in it that would make perfect beginning of three signatures. Um, it's, I got to get a drink. Sorry. Uh, Lucy, I said the same thing. <laughs> I was saying that. Well, that didn't last. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm the, sorry. The, that's the only reason why you get rid of your marriage, um, your guest book. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> so, Unless they died, and their kids are just getting rid of it. All right, hang on. Okay, I think that's worse. <laughs> Sorry, you choked on your saliva and I choked on my drink. On your, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a divider that says to plant a garden is to believe in the future. <clears throat> oh, it's still there. I'm still choking. Frogs. Like <clears throat> plant dreams. And then there was some grid paper so you could draw out your garden if you were using it as a gardening journal, a gardening book. <coughs> oh my goodness. So what she's saying is that you get to pick, Julie. Yes. Yep. While she's choking, <laughs> um, I'll help. So Julie, which one would you like? Oh, yeah, the cling stamps would uh, stick to those glossy pages. That would be awesome. Um, Julie can't make up her mind yet. 
I don't know if she's going to make you make it up on camera here. Um, next week, I'll be providing the gift for the drawing. And because we have so we have plenty of drawings planned for this month, uh, usually we do a two for drawing means Marianne and I would both draw or both provide a gift for um, the same name drawn. But we're doing every other uh, week this this or weekend this month. And then we also have some other drawings in store. Mm. We got a so lot of stuff coming up this month. So, Julie, yeah, something old or that's something old. Or so she doesn't old. want the cursed wedding um, book. Okay, so you want the garden <laughs> one? And I am asking you to choose. <laughs> she said the daffodils. <laughs> the daffodils are really pretty. <laughs> Because if anybody's interested in this one, I will draw a second name. I almost kept this one for myself because I love the handmade paper that's on here. Look at this. Look at this. You can see these. They, these are um, sticking up from the page. They're like seeds. Marianne, bits. What? I have some of that paper coming up in my, in my nice. sale next weekend. Yeah. This is amazing. A paper. bunch of it. Oh, <clears throat> so if anybody's interested in this one, I will. Yeah, something borrowed or something blue. Uh, it's not what I said. I said something old or something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it. If anybody's interested in this one, I'll just draw another name. But if nobody likes that one, then that's okay. I'll keep it. Clusters with those papers. Mm. I do like that paper. <clears throat> You know that they want you to draw another name. Somebody's okay. getting somebody. Yeah. I mean, if you're offering to do two drawings, they're more than willing to accept. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. It's the night of the J. Oh, Judy. Is Judy still here? What is it about the J's tonight? The J's win it all. Oh. You are so very welcome, Julie. Stop eating nuts, Margie. Margie, I didn't even bring any nuts in here. <laughs> it was the Diet Dr. Pepper, Margie. <laughs> is Judy so still here? <laughs> Judy is Judy still, still here. here. I know she's still here because she commented just a minute ago. Hey, Judy, Judy. There she is. You are so welcome. All right, I'm going to put Judy in this one. I'm going to put Julie in this one. Yay! And you are so very welcome. All right. Oh, and there's a feather. Look at this feather. This came from my little blue. It's so soft and fluffy. <laughs> I didn't even get to make my feather card. Or my pearl card, or my um, adornments, decorations, whatever you want to call them, flowers and cameos and things like that. I got a lot of stuff for a lot of cards that I didn't get to make. We could make some fun brooches for these with feathers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Jay, didn't I send you right. the brooch bags? I sent you a bag of those the pins oh yeah yeah. yeah that could be fun but i mean they could just be glued together yeah. they're basically clusters with feathers even <laughs> we're out here <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still got all the tags <gasps> did you margie you got all the tags from the tag book cut out holy cow that's um that's a lot of tags i mean that's a fairly decent sized book tag book <laughs> Yeah, Minte has a tag book um, oh, oh, oh. that you fussy cut the tags out. They have a, a wing book where it's like uh, birds and butterflies and dragonflies oh. and things with wings that you can fussy cut out. They're, uh -huh. they're really pretty. They, what we really love, they have a door book and a window book. And they've got cool, cool doors and windows in there that you can fussy cut out and use on your elements. That is cool. Inspiration image on the group 
page. Nice, Glennis. Wonderful. The Doors book is well, superb. Congratulations yes. to the Jays. Yes, congratulations to the Jays. Don't forget to uh, starting tomorrow, or you could do one tonight too. Uh, but starting tomorrow, do put your um, inspiration photo. Daily, um, daily inspiration. Don't forget to tag Glennis in that post so that you'll be able to get into the weekly drawing and the grand prize drawing for the month. There will be other ways to get into the grand prize drawing as well. <clears throat> the door book will be I'm, the next one put up. The, yeah. So daily inspiration, and I will probably take pictures of these and post them on the page tomorrow. Yep. Um, when I come back up here and get busy. Mm -hmm. uh, to remind um, everyone about it. Mm -hmm. um, and this doesn't do it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'll put a post up just a telling and I'll, I'll pin it to the announcements um, <clears throat> about, All right. about uh, the inspiration photos and getting in the drawings. <clears throat> Thanks everybody for coming tonight and hanging out with us. It was a lot of fun. Yes, so much. We I hope got, that you got to, uh, got lots of ideas and wait a minute, um, wait a minute. Sharon, yeah. How many? What? How many? How many cards did you make? Four. What? Yeah. Why? I made as many. I made as many cards as Sharon made. I made four. <laughs> that never happens. It never <laughs> happens. I talk. And, <laughs> I talk and don't don't create. I just don't end up not doing them both at the same time. And Sharon always makes twice as much as I do. That's awesome. Maybe I'm getting better at talking and crafting at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, awesome. we'll uh, test that. We'll test that next week. How's that sound? <laughs> yeah. We need to talk about next week. I got a couple ideas. Well, we'll we need to throw ideas around and what what we feel Daily like inspiration. <clears throat> julie doesn't know what that is because she wasn't here for that part are all about for the um, this next or for this month um because it's our anniversary is uh, uh celebration and inspiration. inspiration that's right so that <laughs> means things that inspire you or things that you've made that that you still look at and you feel inspired by or that you think might inspire others and it's a daily thing to go on and post even if it's a picture of your roses that's fine or um but truly it could be a something that inspired you, you not wanna, just random. yeah 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 um and there'll be a drawing again uh Remember for that you? it's so you know to get all involved anybody that missed the first hour if you'll go back and watch the first hour even if you put it on you know speed it up speed, speed it up. but if you will yeah. go back and watch the first hour there was a lot of stuff in the first hour so <clears throat> yeah, yeah anybody that, that first hour go back and watch that just so you can get, make sure you have all the details and how it works and what you have to do to get in the drawing and anything else that we talked about because there was a lot of stuff in the first hour so <laughs> margie said sharon had to take the dog out that's uh, true but i think i take the dog out every week um because yeah, i as soon as yeah yeah so that really didn't slow me down <laughs> yeah. and i always have to Next run time we'll, i'll take her out twice and we'll see yeah. <laughs> i always have to run and get something out of the room i gotta go out and yeah. close chickies up i gotta go out and close uh -oh, chickies up done tonight. No, you better do that before a coyote gets them. Well, yeah, yeah, and I can't do it before we start because it's not dark. And then Doug goes to right. goes to bed before it's dark because he has to get up at oh dark thirty in the morning. Right. <clears throat> so he gathered oh. the eggs, but I got to go out and close their door to keep them safe. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks, guys. It was fun. It was Thank a lot you. of fun. Everybody have a great all on the other side. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow in the group. Thanks That's for coming, right. y'all.